Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we are just under five minutes before the game starts tonight between the Colleton County Cougars and the Hilton Head Island High School Seahawk varsity football team. And right now, the captains for Colleton County are taking the field. We have number 42, Daryl Bird, number 15, Jatod Allen, number 11, Jadeka Sherrill, and number three, Joran Simmons taking the field as captains tonight. So number 42, number 15, number 11, and number three. For the Seahawks, we have number 63, 65, Jesse Salinas. We have number 12, Sam Suma, and we have number three, Jalen Sneed taking the field as captains for the Seahawks tonight. Captains just shook hands at midfield at the 50-yard line. The white hat official is now discussing to each team. Each side of the coin is discussing the options each team will have, and he's calling his other officials in to witness as they look to Colleton County to determine who will call the ball tonight, and he talks to both sides of the field at the moment. Coin is being presented. I think he's going over a few little this is and that's, making a few little discussions. Continues to talk with another official on the field. It's going to be a good matchup tonight as Hilton Head comes down to Colleton County to play the Cougars. Cougars coming off a great win last week, a hard fault, well-deserved victory last week. And so we'll see what happens here. Number 12 will be calling it for the Seahawks, and that is Sam Suma, 12th grader. Coin is up, coin is down. Official's going to pick it up, look to him. He's actually going to reflip because he dropped it. He's going to show it to number three for Colleton County, Jordan Simmons. And we're going to see what the Cougars decide to do with the ball. It looks like they won the toss. And so let's see what the call is going to be made here on the field right now. The Cougars will elect to receive in the first half, and they will be backed toward the field house driving toward the scoreboard end zone. So the Cougars will receive to start this matchup tonight with the Seahawks. And I know they're excited after last week's victory. It's going to be a great game tonight. We have good weather, a little bit of rain earlier on in the evening, but it's cleared off now. Nice cool evening, not too cold, not too warm. Going to be a great night for some fall weather football. Just under two minutes to play before kickoff tonight. And before we get to kickoff, I want to take a moment to recognize our sponsors tonight. Our scoreboard sponsors is Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative, Walterboro Ford, and Bank of the Lowcountry. Our first downs tonight will be, will be brought to you by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative. Our touchdowns tonight, tonight are sponsored by Walterboro Ford. Our extra points and field goals are brought to us by the Bank of the Lowcountry. And lastly, our halftime sponsor is State Farm Insurance, Keisha Brown. So again, those sponsors tonight bringing you this game, making everything possible to have this streamed online tonight for those that cannot make it due to COVID restrictions or other ailments is Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative, Palmetto Ford, Walterboro Ford, Bank of the Low Country, and State Farm Insurance Agent Keisha Brown. Right now, under a minute to go, the Cougars just break through the barrier. Cheerleading squad has up for them. They are eagerly and anticipatingly taking the field tonight to defend that victory they had here last week. Hard-fought victory, had some issues with some extra points early on in the game, which almost proved to be disastrous as the game continued on. But the Cougars prevailed, scored late in the game to take it away and ultimately seal that victory. So let's see if they've done any improvement tonight when they get in that end zone on that extra point as they take that kick tonight. So the, the receiving core is taking the field. Kickoff team is taking it for Hilton Head. And we'll see who we have back deep tonight for Colleton. We have number two, Antoine Griffin, going back deep. We have number three, Joran Simmons, going back deep. We have number 15 back deep, Jatod Allen. And lastly, we have number eight, Montana Blue, back deep to field the kickoff. Our deepest man standing on the five-yard line. Everyone else standing around the 12 or 13. At this moment, we are officially waiting on the Hilton Head kicking team to line up so the official can signal play. And again, tonight we want to thank everyone for tuning in, for taking their time to join us this evening as we watch the Seahawks come to Colleton County and face off with the Cougars. Game tonight brought to you 
by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative, Walterboro Ford, Bank of the Low Country, and State Farm Insurance, Keisha Brown. Kicker for the Seahawks tonight is number 13, Dylan Deb, a junior for the Seahawks. And let's see what kind of leg he puts under the ball tonight, whether it's going to be a pooch kick, whether it's going to be a short kick, or whether it's going to be a deep kick to the end zone. He's going to line up just even with his, re his regular upman, just five yards off the ball, so not a very deep approach as most kickers take. And again, the Cougars have number three, Jalen. The Cougars have number three, Jordan Simmons, deep. Oh, and it's in a pooch kick. Barely makes it the 10 yards. Caught quickly on the 40-yard line by number four for the Cougars, Naron Holmes. Great catch there. High little squib kick trying to catch the Cougars off guard. Good game plan by the Seahawks, but great field position right now for the Cougars as they are on the 40-yard line on the hash closest to the stadium. Their backs are to the field house. They are driving toward the, the scoreboard end zone, and there is 11 minutes and 59 seconds on the clock is this Wildcat offense sets themselves in motion. Quarterback's going to be in the shotgun formation and up back to his right. Snaps received, fakes the handoff, and he's going to take the ball and go it around to the right side. Number four is going to miss, whiff the first tackle, miss the second, and step out of bounds as he crosses the 50-yard line. Great start of the night by number four, Naron Holmes, quarterback for the Cougars, to keep that ball and take it around that right end and just keep on moving downfield, smart play, Avoid the hit, avoid the contact, step right out of bounds. He was covered up anyways. Good opening drive. First down, Cougars. And again, that first down is brought to you by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative. Cougars are down in formation again. Two up backs in front of the quarterback to the left. Single back behind him. Hands off right to the left, just left of center. Great first down run. And he's going to get just over the 40-yard line to about the 39 before he's brought down on the carry. Terrific run right there by number 23, Trey Magwood. Going to bring up a very manageable second down and about four to go. 11 minutes and 30 seconds. We're still scoreless in the first quarter as the Seahawks face off at Colleton County, the Cougars. Cougars have the ball on the 39-yard line, driving toward the scoreboard. Quarterback's going to be in the shotgun formation. He'll be standing about five yards deep. Single back up beside him to his right. Takes the snap. Hands off up the middle, and he's going to swing it out wide to this closest sideline, and he's going to break free. He's going to avoid a tackle, miss a tackle, and finally pushed out of bounds at around the 15-yard line. Another big first down Cougars tonight. And again, that first down is brought to you by Palmetto Rule Telephone Cooperative. First down Cougars. Terrific run to get inside the red zone for the first time tonight. We've had a couple run plays. We haven't seen the ball in the air yet tonight. And why would we? Terrific job on the ground. Terrific job by our lineman. Number 65 on that last play. Kobe Ferguson laid a great block to frame around the end there. We've got a timeout on the field right now called by the Seahawks. Going to be quick adjustment here by the defensive coordinator as he steps out on the field with him. And the defensive coordinator for the Seahawks tonight is going to be J.J. Ramsey. Head coach for the Seahawks is B.J. Payne. The offensive coordinator is Will Dingle. And as we look down the line, the lineman coach is Ian Anderson, Chris Harrison, Terry Jones, Donovan McCoy, B.J. Oliver, Patrick Bulware, and defensive, accord, uh, defensive originator Sarah Bichkovsky. All right, ball is going to be back in play now. Ball is going to be whistled into play. Head official telling the <laughs> Seahawks coach to get off the field. Cougar's going to line up in the shotgun formation here. He's got a single back behind him deep. Number four is going to take the snap. Hands off straight up the middle. Just going to be off left of center. And 23 is wide open. He's going to step past the 10 and get all the way down to about the six-yard line before he's finally forced out of bounds. Great run just off the middle by number 23, Trey Magwood, to get all – I believe it's going to be another first down Cougars. We'll see where the ball is spotted. Oh, but we're going to have a holding penalty called on the Cougars. Terrific run, terrific gain is going to be brought back and is going to pin them back deeper than they want to be after a great run. Ball's now going to be spotted across the 25-yard line, around the 26. So we're going to bring up a first down and about 18 for the Cougars. Holding penalty really brought them back on that. Got almost to the 5, and now they're sitting at the 26. So the Cougars will take the ball. Linemen are getting down. Quarterback in the shotgun formation. A single up back to his left. Takes the snap, and he's going to keep it and follow a blocker on around the left side. Sheds one tackle. Sheds a second. 
and can't escape the third, and it's going to be a very short gain by the quarterback tonight. Great pull right there by number 71 for that offensive front. Very short gain on the play. It's going to bring up about a second and 14. So just a four-yard gain as the quarterback kept the ball and came around this left side. Ten and a half minutes to go in this first quarter of play. Still 0-0. Zero to zero. Nobody's gotten to the end zone yet. Cougars doing a great job running the ball tonight, keeping it downfield. Last play kind of stifled a little bit by the Seahawks. So let's see what the offense is going to call into play here for the Cougars. Ball is now lined up on the 23-yard line. Quarterback is in the shotgun formation, five yards deep. Single back to his left, two up backs in front of him to the right. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff. Quick throw out to the flats on the right to number three, who's going to shake a tackler, give a stiff arm. Great run before he's finally pushed out of bounds just across the 15-yard line. Number three, Joran Simmons. Great job catching the ball and getting downfield. Not a lot of right and left, strictly moving up and down. Terrific catch and run by number three, Joran Simmons. Good throw by the quarterback, Naron Holmes, there for the Cougars to make it a manageable third down and five. They started with a first and 18, and they're now at a third and five. Ball's placed just over the 13-yard line. We'll see what the Cougars do here. Quarterback in the shotgun. Single back behind him. Oh, deep count, trying to get the defense to jump off sides here. They almost do it. Quarterback looking around, changing the play. He's going to call it, takes the snap, hands off to number 23, who's going to get met right at the line and get nowhere. A very short gain on the play to bring up a short fourth and one, maybe a fourth and two, depending on the spot of the ball here. Good initial surge by that offensive front, but could not escape that man he met at the line. So we're going to call a timeout here on the offensive side of the ball to determine what we're going to do, and it's going to be a fourth down and three for the Cougars. Ball spotted just at the 11-yard line. So let's see what happens tonight as the Cougars face their first fourth down challenge deep inside the red zone. Ball spotted at about the 11-and-a-half-yard line. We will see what this offense comes up with tonight, whether they're going to try to push it on across with a run to get into scoring position or whether they're going to drop back and take the easy three points with a field goal. We'll see what our head coaches do tonight. And again, tonight's contest between the Colleton County Cougars and the Hilton Island Seahawks is brought to you by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative, Walterboro Ford, Bank of the Low Country, and State Farm Insurance, Keisha Brown. Coaches are coming out of the huddle right now with the Cougars as the Cougar, Cougar offense is going to take the field at this fourth down and three. Seahawk defense getting back out there, a little slow to get out there. And let's see what happens here. Big play to start this game early. Nine and a half to go on the clock. Quarterback is in the shotgun formation. Two up backs in front of him behind the line on the left. A single back to his left. Takes the snap, and the quarterback's going to keep it and take off up the middle. He makes one man miss, a second and third. Meet him at the goal line, and it's going to be a touchdown. Cougars, terrific run by number four, Naron Holmes, to get the score early tonight for the Colleton County Cougars. And that touchdown tonight is brought to you by Walter Burrow Ford, located off Bells Highway. Terrific run, terrific blocking by that offensive front down there. A bunch of big men making that happen. Number 72, Ian Shark being one of the lead blockers there, as well as number 23, Trey Magwood. He doesn't just run the ball. He also can block for his quarterback. Tremendous job. So let's see what happens tonight. Kicker for the night is going to be number 19, Riley Obanias. And it's going to be a bobbled hold by number 40. And he's going to get bottled up at about the 15-yard line and driven into the dirt. As it snap comes back to him, just can't hold the ball to get it down for the kick. And it looks like the Cougars are going to be plagued again, at least early, with some issues with this extra point package. Cougars are now leading 6 to nothing with 9.25 to go on the clock in the first quarter. 6 to nothing. Had another issue tonight with the point after touchdown. So we will just see what happens. 9.25 to go. Cougars are lining up here to kick off. And we'll see what this Seahawk offense is going to do tonight as we see them for the first time take the ball. Tremendous opening drive there by the Cougars. Great calls, great blocking, great running, and a really good job of shedding tackles. These running backs and quarterback tonight, and even our wide receiver, done a great job of at least making the first man miss to pick up that extra yardage, which is really crucial 
in this run offense that the Cougars rely on. Kicker tonight for the Cougars is going to be for kickoffs number 40, Chandler McMillan, 10th grader here at Colleton County. Chandler's been carrying the kicking duties for this team for quite some time now. He's no novice when it comes to the kickoff duties. So we'll see what happens here. As the Seahawk return team is lined up, number five for the Seahawks is back deep, Jaden Gilliam Singleton, as well as number four, Nashawn Green, a senior for the Seahawks. It's going to be a short little squib kick, barely crosses the 30-yard line. Man's going to catch it easily, and he's going to shed a tackle. Then he's going to be brought down at the 45, 46-yard line, depending on the spot, by a host of defenders led by number 20, Jordan Manigo, a senior for this Cougar squad. Our big men down front are number 93, Josh McClint McClown, number 95, Landon Garvin, and number 71 tonight for the Cougars. The big defensive front we have in that three men down package. Seahawks are coming out in a spread formation. Quarterback, on, quarterback in the shotgun, two wide receivers on either side of the line, spread out wide with a single back behind him in the backfield. Ball's placed at the 44-yard line. He's going to take a low snap. He's going to hand off. He's going to fake the throw, and the running back's going to be hit by one, two, three defenders, led by number 31, Daryl Green, of that linebacking core to be a short gain of a one, maybe one yard tonight to bring up a second down tonight. Great initial stand there by the Cougar defense. This is going to be a pass-heavy offense tonight. Expect to see this ball in the air a good bit. We now have three wide receivers out to the left side, a single receiver out to the right. Eight minutes and 48 seconds to go. Quarterback takes the snap. It's a low one again. He has nowhere to go, bottled up, and he's going to be hit once and twice. Brought down by number 33, Lamonte Green in 43. Chris Hires on the play for a short gain of four yards to bring up a third down and about five to go. Great job again by this Cougar defense, giving the quarterback zero options. Snap has come in low the both times. He's picking it up off the ground, and so his center is not giving him a lot of help to start this round. Number 12 is the quarterback, Sam Suma, for the Seahawks. He's going to be in the shotgun formation. Trips to his left, one to his right. Oh, we're going to see if we're going to get an offsides call here on the play. Looks like the offense is in motion. Let's see what the White Hat official calls. Yes. We're going to get a false start. <laughs> Illegal procedures here. Five-yard penalty to bring up a long third down and ten. So it's a long third down and ten for the Seahawks tonight. And see what the Cougar defense can do to hold them. Three trips out to the left. Quarterback in shotgun. A single man out to his right. Takes a snap. He's looking to his left. He's getting bottled up, but he sees daylight ahead of him. He makes one man miss, two men miss. Finally brought down by a host of defenders just inside the 48-yard line, and he's going to get nowhere on that third down and 10 to bring up a fourth down and five to go for the Seahawks tonight. Is Hilton Head going to punt this ball away at the 50-yard line, or will they try to get the five? And it does appear they're going to bring out their punt squad, their punter number 13, Dylan Deb, an 11th grader for the Hilton Seahawks. Punter's favorite thing to do in his spare time is to knit and crochet for elderly men and women. What a tremendous thing for him to do. He's going to take the snap. He's going to step off to the right, and the play is going to be blown dead as soon as the punter gets the ball. We'll see what this flag is going to be here for the Seahawks tonight. Official making the call. A legal procedure on the kicking team. Going to back him up even further to get even better position for the Colleton Cougars tonight. Two men deep at about the 35-yard line for Colleton. We've got number 23 and number 3, Joran Simmons and Trey Magwood back deep for these Cougars. Again, the punter number 13, Dylan Deb for the Seahawks. See what they can do tonight. He's going to take the snap, high snap, but he gets it off. Great kick, end over end, to be kicked short, going to be bobbled by the defender. There we go, bobbled by the receiver. Finally kick gets the ball, gets a hold of it. And they're going to have the ball down to about the 24-yard line as the Cougar offense is going to take control again tonight. This is going to start the Cougars about 20 yards deeper than they did last time. They got the ball around the 40-yard line and drove about 50, 60 yards last time to get that score. And so this time the ball will be spotted just inside the 24-yard line. Cougars got a lot of real estate to pick up tonight. 
if they're going to score again tonight. Let's see what happens. We have a wide out on either side. Quarterback in the shotgun formation. Single back to his left. Takes the snap. It's going to fake the handoff to the right. Quarterback's going to keep it and get bottled up with a loss on the play. No gain that time as number four, Neron Holmes, keeps it. Quarterback's going to take the ball again. Takes the snap. Hands off to number 23. Goes around the right side. Bottled up very quickly this time. Gets nowhere on the play before he is swallowed up coming around that right side. And he's going to get it about back to the line of scrimmage to bring up a third down and about 11 to go. Maybe a yard gained on the play. Seahawks have done some adjusting on the sideline. Defense is a little more prepared, it seems, this time. Cougars are being stifled on these plays right now. Let's see what happens on this play. Quarterback is going to be in the shotgun. A receiver out on either side. Single up back to his far right ahead of him. Paul's a man in motion. Fakes the handoff. Quarterback's going to keep it and takes off up the center of the field in a short gain of about six yards to get out to the 30-yard line. Still going to be about four yards short of the first down to bring up a fourth and four. And the punt squad is coming out for the Cougars tonight. This will be the first time we've seen the punt squad Punter tonight, number 40, Chandler McMillan. Two men back deep for the Seahawks, number five, Jaden Gilliam Singleton, as well as number four, Nashawn Green. High snap, brought down, kicked by the kicker, good high booming kick by Chandler McMillan. It's going to be fair catch. Then he's going to let it go. Great bounce, great roll for the Cougars tonight as the ball gets down past the 20, past the 15, almost to the 10-yard incredible kick tonight by Chandler McMillan the 10th grader for the Colleton County Cougars I believe the ball is officially going to be spotted down at the 11 yard line great kick great roll good change of field position there for the Cougars offense really didn't get a lot going that drive but the punter made up for it by pinning them deep with the ball so the ball is going to be spotted now at about the 17, they're saying that it was touched before it rolled. So the we'll, ball will be placed right here at the 17-yard line. Quarterback again in the shotgun formation. Up back to his left. A single wide out on either side of him. As this defense for the Cougars steps on the field tonight. Quarterback's going to take the ball. Fakes a handoff. Has nowhere to throw it. Going to be bottled up quick. And he's going to chuck it away to no man's land over there. As he just barely gets out of the pocket. So this, and maybe it is going to be an gr intentional grounding penalty as the quarterback throws it to nobody over there. Let's see where Mr. Suma's penalty is going to be tonight as the white hat is approaching the sideline to make his call. It is going to be an intentional grounding penalty tonight against the quarterback, Sam Suma. Ball will now be spotted at about the two-yard line tremendous field position right here that the defense needs to capitalize on. Maybe we can pick up our first safety of the year. Quarterback Suma is going to be deep in the backfield for a shotgun formation. Two wide receivers to his right, a single to his left, and a single up back. Low snap is going to hand the ball off, who's going to go straight up the middle and quickly met by a host of defenders led by number 31, Daryl Green, the linebacker for the Cougars. Ball is going to get out to about the three-yard line. So great job, maybe four-yard line. Great containment there by the Cougar defense as the ball's brought straight up the middle to bring up a third and 25 on the play. We've got to be expecting Suma to try to air the ball out with third and 25, but he can't hang around in the pocket too long. This defense is coming quick tonight. He's got a single up back beside him, double receivers to the right, a single to his left. Takes a low snap again, and he's going to fake the handoff and keep it and go right up the middle. Shed one tackle, but brought down by number 33 of the Colleton Cougar defense, Lamontre Green. Good tackle by Green in open field there to bring that to an end. It's going to be a fourth down and 12. The ball spotted, I believe it just over the 15-yard line. Tremendous job by the Cougars there. Three minutes and 52 seconds to go in the first quarter. The Cougars lead this contest six to zero. Punter number 15, Matthew Larkaby, coming out for the Seahawks. 
and we've got two men back deep standing inside the 50-yard line for the Cougars. He's going to take the snap and a quick kick. It's going to hit the ground and bounce, and it's going to roll past the 50, the 45, the 40, and it's going to roll to a stop at about the 39-yard line is the Cougars are going to get the ball on the 39-yard line with 3.23 to go in this first quarter. The Cougars lead 6 to nothing. And just a quick reminder as our offense takes the field tonight that our game tonight is brought to you by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative, Walterboro Ford, Bank of the Low Country, and State Farm Insurance, Keisha Brown. Offense is going to take the ball. We're going to be first down, 10 to go on the 39-yard line. Quarterback in the shotgun, single receiver out on either side. Single up, back to his left. Takes the snap, hands off. Running back will take it just off center to the right, and he's going to pick up about four or five yards on the play. Good first down run there by number 23 of the offense, Trey Magwood. We have a player injured on the field for the Seahawks. He appears to be clutching his stomach, slowly making his way to his feet. Number 18 for the Seahawks, Alex Rucno, the 10th grader, linebacker. Anything can happen down there in that big front when you got a bunch of big men coming together on a hard run by number 23 for the Cougars. Going to bring up a second down and five on the play. Solid run right there for the Cougars. Got stifled on their second drive of the night. Couldn't get much traction going. But tonight, the third time they've had possession of the ball, they pick up three, five yards on their first carry. Cougar offense down. Quarterback in shotgun, one man behind him deep. Again, handoff just right of center, but he's going to be bottled up quickly this time. Maybe brought up just short of the line of scrimmage. Didn't get much going that time. Swallowed up pretty quickly before he could get much ground. Going to bring up a third down and five and a half for the Cougar. Ball is going to be spotted inside the 50-yard line at about the 48. Single receiver out on either side. Quarterback in the shotgun. Single up back to his left. Quarterback's going to take the snap. He's going to fake the handoff, throws it to the left side of the field, number 15, who's going to make a man miss and keep pushing, but he's pushed out of bounds just at the 45-yard line, and he is going to be well short of that first down marker that he was looking for up at the 49 as he's pushed out by number 23 from the Seahawks, Chase McCracken. See what the Cougars do here. I believe the quarterback's going to take, the coach is going to take a gamble on the defense and expect them to hold as they've done well all night. The quarterback, the Cougar offense is going to keep possession. Fourth down and three to go. Quarterback in the shotgun. What happens here? He's calling the hard count, seeing what's going to happen, trying to draw him off sides. Single back behind him, brings him up beside him. Quarterback takes his snap, but before he can, we have a timeout called on the field tonight by the Cougars. Two and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Fourth and three as they lead this contest. Sixth to zero. Seahawks have yet to find that end zone. This Cougar defense has really been stepping up tonight and bottling up everything they've attempted. Cougar punt team is going to be brought out onto the field. Number 40, Chandler McMillan will be making the punt tonight. His last punt was a boomer and pinned the Seahawks inside their own 20-yard line. Let's see what happens tonight. Fourth down and three, two and a half to go in the first quarter. As the ball is placed currently at the 46-yard line, Chandler will be kicking it from probably about the 37. And the punt is up, booming punt again by Chandler McMillan. Kick deep to just inside the 15-yard line, and the defender is going to get just a couple yards and bring it out past the 20 to about the 23 before he's brought down by number 30 of the punt team, William Scott, the freshman linebacker. And so this Colleton Cougar defense will take the field again tonight as they've done a great job their first two times out. Quarterback for the Seahawks, number 12, Sammy Suma. Sam Suma. Is going to be in the shotgun formation. He's going to have dual receivers to his left, a single, two receivers to his right, and a single up back in the backfield beside him as he takes the call tonight. Let's see what happens. First snap, a little low. Handoff up the middle. Running back has nowhere to go and bottled up before he even gets back to the line of scrimmage. 
an apparent loss of two on the play. Terrific job by the defensive front tonight of this Cougar line of this Cougar defensive line core, as well as the defensive linebackers doing a good job getting to that line and really shutting holes up before they can become anything. Quarterback will have triple receivers to his left, a single to his right, and a single back beside him in the shotgun formation tonight. Quarterback is going to take the snap. He's going to pitch it out to his left, and he's got a man wide open. He's running. He's getting about five, six, seven, eight yards on the play. Finally brought down tonight by number 35 of the defense, it appears, Jaden Mitchell. I lied. That is number 43 of the defense, Chris Hires, the 11th grade linebacker. Great tackle in the open field by Chris Hires. And the Seahawks picked up eight on that play to make it a third and two their most manageable third down of the night. Quarterback lines up, trip receivers to his left, a single to his right, single up back beside him. And we have flags litter in the field. We're going to see what the call is going to be. Fault start on the Seahawks offense. And that one glimmer they had of hope against this Cougar defense quickly evaporates as it becomes a third down and about eight on the play. So third down and about eight on the play to go. One minute left in the first quarter. The Cougars lead six to nothing as Hilton Head looks to try to do something here. Triple receivers to the right, a single to his left. Quarterback takes a low snap. It's on the ground. He's bottled up, but throws it out to his receiver in the flat, who's met by a host of defenders, and a defender loses his helmet on the tackle number 31, Daryl Green as he pops him square at the 30-yard line. Helmet pops right off of him. Green making that heads-up tackle. Good stance, good defense. Helmet just happened to pop off. And it's going to be a fourth down and about four to go for this Seahawk offense. And they're going to bring the punt squad out. And we'll see the punter for the third time tonight, number 18, Alex Rucno. Cougars have two men back deep, number three, Joran Simmons as well as number, I believe, 30. Twenty-three, Trey Magwood. Punter takes the ball. He's going to kick. It's going to be a low rolling kick that's going to hit and stop. Cougar's going to get away from it. The ball will be downed at about the 34-yard line. So the Cougars' offense will take the ball again tonight in the first quarter. 27 seconds to go as the Cougars lead the contest tonight. Six to nothing against this Seahawk Hilton Head team. Our game tonight is brought to you by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative, Walterboro Ford, Bank of the Low Country, and State Farm Insurance, Agent Keisha Brown. This offense will take the ball at the 34 and a half yard line. He'll have a single receiver out on either side, quarterback in the shotgun formation, a single up back to his right, two Wildcat running backs in front of him. Takes a bobble and snap. He's going to fake the handoff. Keep it. Quarterback cuts up the middle field. Makes one, two, three, four men miss. He's in the open field. He's got two men to beat. And he's going to the house. The 30, the 20, the 10. Quarterback number four for Carlton takes it to the house. Touchdown Cougars after an incredible run by number four, Naron Holmes, as he takes a bobbled snap, misses the handoff, and just cuts it upfield, makes about six men miss, and then outruns the rest of the defense to put six more on the board. The Cougars now lead 12 to nothing with 11 seconds to go in this first quarter. The offense will stay on the field to try to pick up two points tonight. The last three PATs have been unsuccessful for the Cougars, including two from last week, the first one from tonight. So the Cougar offense stays in to go for two. Quarterback will be in the shotgun formation, back behind him, single back, single receivers out on either side of the field. Two up backs in front of him to his left. Takes a snap, hands off to the running back, number 23, straight up the middle, and Trey Magwood walks it into the end zone for an easy two points. And it is... And they're calling it no good somehow. They're saying the quarterback was down because when he took the snap, he, he dropped to a knee to take the snap on a low snap. So they're going to discount the two-point conversion, and it will again be 12-0. to 0. 
the Cougars leading. That touchdown tonight is brought to you by Walter Burra Ford, which is located just off Bells Highway beside the Bojangles right here in Walter Burra. For any of your Ford needs, whether you're looking for a new vehicle, whether you're looking for a great pre-owned vehicle, whether you're looking for some service done on your current vehicle of any maker model, Walter Burra Ford is the place to go. So now as the Cougars lead the contest 12 to nothing, there are 11 seconds remaining on the clock in this first quarter. Number 40 for the Cougars, Chandler McMillan lines up to kick the ball off. Last kickoff was a short pooch kick down to about the 30-yard line. We'll see what Chandler does on this kick as he steps this one off a deep 10 yards. I would assume he's kicking this one deep. So he's approaching the ball. Quick approach and a low, low hanging punt down to about the 10-yard line. Caught immediately by a Seahawk defender who breaks around to the sideline but is going to be brought down as he crosses the 30-yard line to the 35. It's going to be a first and 10 on the 35-yard line for the Seahawks tonight as they trail the Cougars 12 to nothing with five to go in this first quarter. We have yet to see this Seahawk offense really take off and do much tonight. Quarterback has three receivers to his left, a single to his right, and a single up back beside him. Takes the snap, looking left, throws across the middle, makes a single man miss as the wide receiver catches the ball. He's brought down short of the first down marker by a host of defenders led by the Cougars. Number 43, Chris Hires, the 11th grade linebacker. It's going to be a gain of about six on the play. Quarterback had more time on that possession than he's had all night. Defensive front is the first time tonight they did not get back there with him and disrupt his flow or that the ball was not snapped to the ground. That play will bring about the end of the first quarter, and we will enter our second quarter of play with the Colleton County Cougars leading the Hilton Head Seahawks 12 to nothing. The ball is going to be switched into the field. Not a long walk for the official officiating crew as it's spotted to the opposing 43-yard line. For the second quarter, the Cougars will now be driving towards the field house with the scoreboard at their backs, and the Seahawks will be driving towards the home field end zone that contains the scoreboard. 12 minutes on the clock. Cougars again lead tonight's contest 12 to nothing. We're at 12 because we missed our first kick after point and we missed our two point conversion attempt based on a low snap and the officials ruling the ball dead as the quarterback went down to a knee to pick the ball up. So we will see the first play of the second quarter as the Seahawks now drive towards the scoreboard end zone as they trail the Cougars 12 to nothing. Quarterback Sam is in the shotgun formation, double receivers on either side. Takes the ball, steps back, he's met with a host of defenders, has to hit one man, met, met by another man, and driven to the dirt by defender 31, Daryl Green of this Cougar linebacking core. Great defense there by the Cougars, even though it is enough to get the first down for the Seahawks. So it'll be the first first down the Seahawks have picked up this half. It took the second quarter for the Seahawks to find their first first down conversion. There will be two wide receivers on either side of the field for the quarterback as Sam is in the backfield shotgun formation who have a single up back to his left. Again, that's two receivers on either side. Single up back in the shotgun formation with the quarterback. He's changing whether which man is off. Brings a man in motion from right to left. Tosses it on end around and he's met in the backfield but not wrapped up but he's going to be forced out of bounds. Short gain on the play of about two, maybe three yards, depending on the spot, have yet to get to the 50-yard line marker, and it's going to be marked down short at about the 49-yard line. And unfortunately, the Cougars have a man down, a little slow to get up. He's sitting up. It's number 31, Daryl Green, one of the linebackers we speak a lot of. He's all over the field, does a lot for this Cougar team on every position that he's asked to play and every part he's asked to play in. Athletic trainers out there with him, coaches out there with him. He sat up initially but leaned back. He looks like he's favoring a left ankle, but it's really un hard to be clear what's happening at the moment. Trainers talking to him. 
Both teams are huddled up on their sides of the field, respectively, awaiting an injury. <clears throat> he was located right behind the pile up. I'm not really sure. Maybe a, a mass of bodies. But the coaches are bringing him to his feet. I think his foot's a little tender. Maybe he overstepped something. Maybe he was stepped on. But that will be linebacker number 31, Daryl Green, walking off on his own power to get off the field tonight. Hopefully it's something very minor and that he's going to be just fine. Following the trainer over to the tent. It's going to bring up a second down and seven to go for the Seahawk offense as they trail the Cougars 12 to nothing, 11-23 to go in the second quarter. They're going to be trip receivers to the right, a single receiver to the left as the quarterback for the Seahawks is lined up in the shotgun formation with a single back to his left. Number 12 takes the snap. He's looking downfield. He's finally rushed, and he's going to be brought, fumbles the ball, and he's going to be brought down as number three forces the sack, forces the fumble on the play. That's Josh McClendon on the play. Huge sack, huge tackle, great wrap-up as the ball comes loose, and this Cougar defense jumps right on it. Incredible, incredible play by this Cougar defense who has showed up again and again and again. The Seahawks have yet to cross the 50-yard marker in tonight's contest to get to their own end zone. This Cougar offense comes back out, and they've already crossed the 50-yard line multiple times. They are across it already at the 48, and the quarterback will be in the shotgun formation, single back behind him, wide receivers, single one on either side, dual wildcat up backs in front of him. As the quarterback takes the snap for the Cougars, he's going to fake handoff up the middle, look to the right side of the field, throws deep to number three who can't bring it in, but is so close on the catch. That is Joran Simmons, a great streak down this home field sideline, reaches with all he can and just can barely get some fingers on the ball. Good coverage on the play as the defender was on top of him. The single safety pushed across the field to cover him as well. Great throw, put it out of the coverage's reach put it right where a re receiver could possibly make a play. Just unfortunately, Jordan Simmons could not make a big play right there, but he gave all he had for it. Going to bring up a second and ten. The Cougars going to take the snap here. Quarterback's going to keep it, come to the right, step into the middle, and he's going to be brought down immediately by number three for that defensive front, and that is going to be Jalen Sneed for the Seahawks. So we're going to bring up a long third down and about nine to go. Maybe third down and eight for the Cougars as the ball is spotted currently at the 41-yard line. Ball sitting on the 41 and maybe a half-yard line. Cougars looking to the sideline, seeing what their offensive coordinator tonight is going to call in. Offensive coordinator is Chris Howell for the Cougars. Quarterback in the shotgun, single back, number 23 to his left. He's going to take a snap. He's going to fake the handoff. He's going to look to throw it, but he's bottled up deep as he's taken behind the 50-yard line by number 15 of this defensive linebacking crew, Matthew Larkby of the Seahawks. First time we've seen those linebackers really penetrate that offensive line of scrimmage to bring up a fourth down and about 19 for the Cougars is number 40. Chandler McMillan is going to come out again and punt this ball away. Chandler's going to have to take a little bit of mustard off that ball as he's been kicking them deep tonight. Ball's going to be placed at the 49-yard line, snap back to McMillan as he's going to take and kick from the 40-yard line. Ball's going to land just at the 20. It's going to get a friendly roll, get down to about the 15 for it rolls dead, and it's going to be spotted by number 20, Jordan Manigo of this Cougar punt team, and it will again be the Seahawks ball at the 16-yard line as they trail the Cougars 19-12, as they trail the Cougars 12 to nothing with 9.35 to go in the second quarter. Cougars defense has really stepped up big tonight in all areas of play, doing a great job of containment. Let's see if they can continue that trend as the Seahawks offense takes the field again tonight. Quarterback for the Seahawks is number eight is going to be number 12, Sam Suma. Shotgun formation, double receivers to the left, single receiver to his right. He's going to take the snap. He's going to hand off to the up back beside him. And he's going to go around the right side. He's going to make one man miss. But he's going to make a third, fourth. And he's getting out. Passes the first down marker. Finally brought down. But there is going to be yellow flags littering the line of scrimmage. It appears it's going to be a quick holding call by this. I believe it's going to be hold based on the spot of the foul and the displeasure of the offensive line of the Seahawks. It's going to be a hold against the Seahawks as their big first down run is going to be brought back 
and they're going to lose everything they just worked so hard for. And the bad thing was the hold was well behind the run. It is something that could have ended three seconds earlier, and it would have not have been an issue at all. Ball was about 10 yards away when the hold occurred. Ball is going to be spotted inside the 10-yard line at about the 9.5, and, and that will bring up a first down and 19 to go for the Seahawk offense as they trail 12 to nothing with 9.23 to, re to remain in the second quarter. Quarterback tonight, number 12 for the Seahawks, Sam Suma is going to be a, in the backfield. Got a single back to his right, double receivers to his left, a single to his right. And he's going to take the snap, and he's going to hand off to the running back. He's going to come around this left side of the field. He's going to make one man miss, two, but brought down from behind by number 33 from the Cougars, Lamontre Green, a linebacker, not after he gets a huge gain on the play to go from first and 19 to second down and five. Tremendous run by the up back there as he came around that left side. Seahawks are driving towards the scoreboard with the field house at their back. The ball is now placed at about the 22-yard line, second down and a manageable five. Quarterback's going to have a single back behind him in the shotgun formation, double receivers to his right, a single down to his left, and he's going to take this snap in the shotgun formation, and he's looking to throw to his right. He's got a quick throw out in the flats to number two, and he's going to get across the first down marker, across the 30, before he's brought down by number 25 of the defense score, Dorian Gant, the 11th grade linebacker. Linebacking core for this um, Cougar defense is coached by Scott Bowers, who is also the defensive coordinator, doing a great job out there tonight. That defensive front is also doing an incredible job, coached by Kiwi Rowe. So let's see what this Seahawk offense does. A first and 10, ball is placed on the 31-yard line. Quarterback in the shotgun, got two receivers to his left, one to the right, single back beside him in the backfield. Quarterback's going to take the ball. It's going to be a bad snap, still on the ground, and bottled up and going to be a loss on the play as he is lucky to just get it back in his hands before he is met by a host of Cougar defenders led by number 90, Paul Winbush of that defensive line. That first and 10 turns into a second and 14 after a bad snap on the play. Center's done a... Had a little struggle tonight getting the ball consistently to the quarterback for the Seahawks. A lot of low snaps tonight. A lot of snaps on the ground as they're coming to him. Second and 15, ball on the 26-yard line. Quarterback has three receivers to his left, a single one to his right and a single back to his right. And the backfield takes the snap. He's going to pitch it to his right as the running back jets up the sideline. He's going to be met at the down marker just across the 30-yard line for about a five, six-yard gain to make it a third down and 10 or a third down and nine for the Seahawk offense. Seven minutes and 14 seconds remain in the second quarter as the Cougars lead the contest 12 to nothing as the defense tonight for the Cougars has done an incredible job of keeping the Seahawk offense on their toes. So let's see what happens now. We have two receivers on either side of the field, double receivers either side of the field, quarterback in the shotgun formation, a single back to his right. Quarterback in the shotgun, waiting on the snap. The ball's coming to him, and he's looking to throw downfield. He's looking to his right. Fakes, pump fakes, but he's met by some defenders, and he is bottled up, and he is brought down for a big loss of about 10 on the play by a host of defenders, led by number 93, Josh McClendon, followed by number 90, Paul Winbush, followed by number, I can't even tell. There's so many out there. Number seven, Darian Bynum. Just an incredible job by the defensive front tonight to bring about a fourth and 20 for this Seahawk team. And the kicker is going to be seen again tonight, number 18, Alex Rucknow. Cougars have number three back deep as well as number 23 on, on the 40-yard line. Punter's going to take the snap. He's going to catch it. It's going to be a short little kick that's going to get just across the 50-yard line, lands at the 41-yard line, bounces out of bounds at the 36-yard line. So got a good friendly roll for it. The Cougars will take the ball tonight from the 36-yard lines with 5 minutes, 54 seconds remaining as they lead the Seahawks 12 to nothing.
So let's see what this Cougar offense does as they take the ball at the 36-yard line. Quarterback in shotgun, single back beside him to his right. Hands off to the back, who goes just off center up the middle and is going to pick up about five on the play before he's brought back down by number 15, Matthew Larkaby of the Seahawk defense. Five-yard gain on the first down there to bring up a manageable second down and five. Clock is ticking in this second quarter. Play gets under five and a half minutes remaining in the first half. The Cougars lead 12, Seahawks zero. Cougars are going to line up in the shotgun formation. Quarterback single back to his right. It's going to fake the handoff. Keeps the ball. Comes around the right side. It's going to make a man miss. A second man barely grabs hold of him, but not before he picks up a first down at the 50-yard line. So it's going to be first down, Cougars. Ball spotted at the 49-yard line. And that first down is going to be brought to you by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative. PRTC is going to be our first down sponsor on the night as they've had several first downs tonight by the Cougars. Cougars lining up again. Shotgun formation. Single receiver out on either side. Up back is to the quarterback's right. He's going to hand off. The running back's going to go just off center to the left and picks up about six or seven on the play. Great run by number 23, Trey Magwood, as he lowers some pads and drops the boom on a couple of defenders as he picks up seven on that first down play. This big defensive offensive front, number 75, number 65, just doing great jobs out there tonight to really secure and own that line of scrimmage to make some avenues so that these boys behind them can run. Quarterback has a running back behind him, hands off straight up the middle. His 23 takes it up the middle, makes two men miss, finally gets brought down, but not until he picks up another first down Cougars on that side of the 40-yard line, and we have another Cougar first down Brought to you tonight by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative. Ball will be spotted at about the 38-yard line. I tell you, this offensive front is doing a great job of coming off the ball fast and hard to push this Seahawk defensive front backwards to give an initial push. Quarterback in the shotgun formation. Single back to his right. He fakes the handoff, keeps it, goes off center to the right, makes one, two, three, four men miss, and he trips on his own as he's, as he's deflecting blockers as he gets down across the 25-yard line to about the 23 for another first down Cougars brought to you by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative. Tremendous run right there by the quarterback, number four, Naron Holmes for the Cougars. Stepped just off center as he kept the handoff, dropped his shoulders, made a couple men miss, and just shoelaced and tripped after he got the first down. Quarterback in the shotgun formation, single receivers out on either side. Hands off up the middle to number 23 who drops his shoulder and makes the first man miss, hit, makes the second man miss, and trips as he's hit by number two, Amari Ford of that Seahawk defense but not before he picks up a hard four on the play to bring up a second down and six for the Cougars. Ball will be spotted inside the red zone on the 19-yard line. Three minutes and 43 seconds remain on the clock as the Cougars lead 12 to nothing tonight against this Hilton Head High School defense. Quarterback's going to be in the shotgun, single up back to his left. Going to take the handoff and keep it and go straight up the middle. Makes one man miss, two men miss as he gets down close to the 10-yard line. I think they'll spot him at the 12 for yet again another first down Cougars brought to you tonight exclusively by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative. For all your telephone, phone, cable, and internet needs, whether personal, home, or business, PRTC has you covered. This Cougar offense is going to take the ball. Ball's going to be spotted, I believe, at about the 12-yard line. Quarterback has a single back to his right in the backfield. Fakes the handoff, keeps it, goes off center to the right, but he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage. And we've got Laundry coming in on the field tonight, deep on about the four-yard line. It's going to be in the secondary. So we'll see what this call is going to be. Holding on the Cougars, we had one of our receivers trying to make a block for the quarterback as he ran around this outside, but he's going to be flagged for a holding penalty instead. The ball is going to be moved from the 12-yard line out past the 20 to about the 21-and-a-half-yard line. Cougars are going to be facing a long first down and about 19 or 20 to go. Quarterback's going to line up in the shotgun formation. Got a running back deep behind him. Single wide receivers out on either side of him. Looking to that sideline as the offensive coordinator 
is calling in the play right now. Chris Howell calling the play into the quarterback, number four, Mayron Holmes. He's going to take the snap. Single back behind him. He's going to hand off up the middle, just left of center. He's going to spin off the first tackle, third, fourth, as he gets back up to almost the original line of scrimmage to go from first and 20 to second and 10. Great run up the gut. Good blocking there by number 50 of that offensive front, Jerry Myers, the senior offensive lineman. Tell you what, this offensive front, bunch of big men down there doing some big work. I know these boys are getting tired. Their hands are starting to hit their hips a little more frequently. But this Cougar offense is doing an incredible job tonight. Two minutes, 20 seconds remain in this first half as the Cougars lead 12-0. Quarterback's in the shotgun. Single back beside him. Fakes the handoff. He's going to stretch it to the left side of the field and cut back inside, but not before he's brought down at about the six-yard line. The ball's going to come loose, but not until after he hits the dirt. The, the officials are going to rule the ball down and, and in playable as it rolls off as a hopeful Seahawk defense picked it up to start going the other way. Good run, good second effort there by the quarterback to stretch it out wide when he saw that pocket closing on him. So we'll see what happens here as the Cougars are now facing a third down and five inside the 10-yard line. We're going to get a timeout called by the Cougars, a minute 36 remains as they lead 12 to 0. And we'll be right back with you after this timeout. Cougar offense is now making their way back out onto the field. Ball is spotted down right now just inside the 10, about the 7-yard line. It's going to be a third down and five to go as this Cougar offense is trying yet again to put points on the board tonight before they enter the half. A minute 36 to go. Quarterback in the shotgun, single back to his left. He's going to take the, hand, the snap, take it himself straight up the middle, and he's going to get well inside the five-yard line down towards the goal line, and I believe spotted down around the one or the two to bring up yet again another first down Cougars. I believe it is going to be going to wait on the official word, and it is. It's a first down Cougars brought to you tonight by Palmetto Rule Telephone Cooperative. Cougars doing a great job moving the ball. Minute 24 to go on the clock. Quarterback's going to take the snap. Hands off to number 23, who's going to keep them legs churning. And we're going to see if the officials rule it a touchdown. Cougars going to punch another one in tonight in the second quarter to be another touchdown Cougars to put six more points on the board to make it an 18-0 contest. And we will see if they go for two. And I believe they will. The kicking team is not coming out. The Cougars will go for two as the score is now 18 to zero. And that touchdown brings is brought to you tonight by Walterboro Ford, located right off of Bells Highway. Walterboro Ford's touchdown of the night. One minute, 17 seconds remain as the Cougars line up to go for two points. Quarterback takes the snap, hands off to number 23 around the right side, who's going to power it in easily untouched. And so that is going to be two points, which will bring this tie, this score up to 20 to 0. The Cougars lead the Seahawks 20 to 0 with a minute 17 remaining in the first half. 
Tremendous effort, tremendous blocking. Want to call out number 50, Jerry Myers. Want to call out number 65, Kobe Ferguson, on just doing great jobs tonight, securing running lanes for the running backs and the quarterback tonight on the field. This Cougar kicking team is going to come out for the third time tonight, and it's going to be led by number 40, the junior, Chan the sophomore, Chandler McMillan. Chandler McMillan's been doing a great job tonight booming some punts down the field and a great job on a, a deeper kick last kickoff. His first kickoff was a short pooch. His next one was a little bit of a line drive to the 10-yard line. And Chandler's going to line up about six yards off the ball, and we'll see what kind of kick the team has called in tonight as we wait on the officiating crew to whistle the ball into play. Ball is now live and placed into the hands of number 40, Chandler McMillan. He approaches the ball for a, a deeper kick. It's going to be kicked to about the 20-yard line, bobbled by the defenders, and he's going to pick it up and be able to continue running with it. Made a couple men miss, and he's going to be finally brought down across the 35, out to the 40 almost, to, I believe, to the 37-yard line. The return there by number six, Lavarius Brown, was very sketchy because he bobbled the catch and made a couple men miss as they were trying to go after him and the ball. Luckily, he got a great roll. The ball rode straight to him, and he was able to take off upfield, but brought down by a host of kickoff team tacklers just across the 30-yard line. Ball spotted at the 37. Quarterback tonight for the Seahawks is number 12, Sam Suma. Will be in the shotgun formation. He has double receivers to his top and bottom. Single back in the backfield to his right. He's going to take the snap. He's going to be looking to his left side. Across the middle, he's going to be looking a little deeper. And he's going to be a pass to number 10. Caught and completed. And he gets across the 50 for the first time tonight. The Seahawk offense crosses the 50-yard line into their own territory. 59 seconds remain as they trail the Cougars. 20 to zero, ball will be spotted at the 52, at the 48 yard line. Trip receivers up to the right, single receiver down to his left. Quarterback in the shotgun or single back beside him. He's going to take the snap. He's looking deep downfield, trying to make up some yards. He's going to be pressured by the defense, but the ball is going to be caught anyways as he gets the ball out to about the 40 to try to get that first down. Great pressure by that defensive front to go for his hand, but he just happened to get the ball off before they got to him to bring up a second down and two. Ball spotted on the 40-yard line. 42 seconds remain in the second quarter as the Seahawks trail the Cougars 20-0. to zero. The Seahawks have called a timeout, and we will be right back with you. And we come back to you right now as this Seahawk offense has taken the ball. This has been their best drive of the night as they've moved the ball steadily down the field and are now at the 40-yard line, driving toward the scoreboard end zone. 42 seconds on the clock. Three receivers to the right, single to the left. Quarterback's looking to the right, throws across the middle, and it's tipped by number 22 of the defense, and that is Trey Fields. Ball hit him in the hands, and he is more mad at himself than anybody else could be because he knows that he was headed to the house if he brought that one down, but he batted it down regardless to bring up a third down and two with 35 seconds remaining on the clock. 35 seconds remain as the ball is spotted on the 40-yard line. Third down and two for the Seahawk offense as they try to get close enough to get something on the board as they trail 20 to nothing. Quarterback has double receivers out to his top and bottom. Takes a snap. He's looking right, looking left, doesn't know where to go. Has defenders coming after him. Can't get away. Finally pushes out slow, lowly, makes a receiver. The catch makes two men miss. He finally brought down at the 10-yard line. But there is flags way back here at the line of scrimmage. And based on the response of this lineman, it's going to be a holding penalty. And you can see the hold for days as the defensive man just held his arms up like I don't know what else to do. I'm being held. Number 23, Josh McClendon doing everything he can to get through a block that just won't let him go. 
And it is going to be a holding penalty against the Seahawks. And that's going to bring them on back even further than they were. Tremendous throw, tremendous pass, great catch. The ball was ran all the way down inside the 20, inside the 15 to the 14. As a holding call is going to bring it back across the 50 and spot it at the 48-yard line to bring up a long third down. Third down and about 14 to go. Ball's going to be spotted on the other side of the 50 at the 48-yard line. Quarterback's going to have three receivers to the right, a single receiver down to his left, a single up back to his left as he is in the shotgun formation. Number 12, Sam Suma takes the snap, low snap, and it's going to be bobbled and rolled on, and he's going to be slammed to the ground by the defender number 7, Darian Bynum, the defensive lineman from Colleton County. Gets nothing on the play other than slam to the ground. Great defensive play, but again, it's a low snap that's causing the problems for the quarterback. Quarterback Suma just can't do anything when he's picking the ball up off the ground as the Seahawks will take their final timeout of the night as one second remains in the second half, second quarter, as they trail the Cougars 20 to nothing. Great defensive stand tonight, this entire first half by the Cougars, and we'll be right back with you after this timeout. We have one second remaining in the first half of play as the quarterback, Sam Suma, for the Seahawks is going to be in the shotgun formation, single back to his right, three receivers up to his right, and one down to his left. Quarterback's going to take the snap and drop back deep, looking for something to dump the ball off to, finds the running back, number six, who gets just across the 50 before he's brought down immediately by defender number 25, Dorian Gant, the linebacker for Colleton County, and the Cougars are going to take it to the locker room, leading at the half 20 to nothing as the Seahawks have failed to find any kind of rhythm offensively tonight to move the ball until it was a little bit too late. So we will enter the halftime show. Tonight's matchup again is brought to you by Palmetto Rule Telephone Cooperative, Walterboro Ford, Bank of the Low Country, and State Farm Insurance, Keisha Brown. Very specifically, our halftime presentation brought to you by the band, brought to you by the color guard, brought to you by everyone out there on the field doing their thing is sponsored by State Farm Insurance, Keisha Brown, our halftime sponsor. State Farm Insurance, Keisha Brown. And we will take just a brief recess as we wait on the band and the color guard and everyone to get set up on the field for tonight's halftime performance, which again, our halftime sponsor of the evening is State Farm Insurance, Keisha Brown.
Carlton County High School is proud to present for your halftime entertainment, the Band of Blue. The Band of Blue is under the direction of Tom Finnegan. The associate band director is Six Finger, and our assistant directors are Kathy Messick, Clay Blackwood, and Thomas Finnegan. Color Guard instructors, Bailey Wade. Band staff is Ryan Kriske, Cody Dalton, Maria Maneva, Taylor Russell, William Finnegan, and Megan Newton. The Band of Blue drum majors are Chandler Ballou and Rainey Bongiorno. Band captain is Sidney Howard. Brass captain is Jamia Christian. Woodwind captain, Christina Morale. Guard captains are Deja Cody and Morgan Hadwin. Percussion captains are George Ritchie and Bradley Westbury. 2020 section leaders, flute, Christina Morale and Amanda Salmon. Clarinet, Sidney Howard and Asante Yeomans. Alto sax, Nate Green. Tenor sax, Daniel Green. Trumpet, Dooley Hyatt and Haley Jackson. Mellophone, Sierra Smart. Low Brass, Jamia Christian. Battery Captain, George Ritchie. Front Ensemble Captain, Bradley Westbury. The Loading Crew, Dooley Hyatt, Haley Jackson, Chandler Ballou, Daniel Cortez, Christina Morrell, George Ritchie, Bradley Westbury, Catherine Button, Edward Jakes, Peyton Grant, Nate Green, and Rainy Bongiorno. Class of 2021, Band of Blue Seniors, uh, Michelle Batrich, Chandler Ballou, Savannah Bongiorno, Jamia Christian, Daniel Cortez, Enola Dowling, Adesia Godey, Nate Green, Todd Griffith, Morgan Hadwin, Sidney Howard, Christina Morrell, George Ritchie, Amanda Salmon, Bradley Westbury, and Asante Yeomans. The 2020 Band of Blue to present Love You Blue. This year's Band of Blue is grateful to be a marching band. Love You Blue is a reflection of why our students are here tonight performing. We love music and you love the Band of Blue. This year's band members are setting the standard for future bands. We are so proud of our Band of Blue. Join the Band of Blue as we present Love You Blue.
gentlemen, the Band of Blue. The Band of Blue would like to thank all of its great sponsors. Tonight's band meal is provided by the Old House Cafe in Wilkesboro. Just a reminder, the Band of Blue is selling bed sheets. See any band member to place your order. The Band of Blue annual foot sale is underway. Please place your order early. School varsity cheerleaders.
I want to welcome all our listeners back tonight as the Cougars lead the Seahawks 20 to nothing. As we go into the third quarter, the Cougars will be kicking off to the Seahawks to start the third quarter as the Cougars received in the first quarter. So the Seahawks will receive the ball first in the second half as they trail the Cougars 20 to nothing. And the kicker for the Cougars tonight is number 40, Chandler McMillan, 10th grade kicker who's been handling the kicking duties for the high school for the past several years, doing a great job. I assume he'll be kicking this one back deep because he is lined up almost 10 yards off the ball. And when he does a squib or a little shorter kick, he'll line up about five to six. So Chandler McMillan, number 40, waiting for the official's approval so that he can approach and kick this ball away to start the third quarter. And he takes his run. He makes a kick. And it's going to be a low bopping ball as it's going to bounce all the way down inside the 10 to the 5, 4. And it's finally picked up with the 3. As the running back gets it, he gets out to the 5, the 10, the 20, the 30, the 40. And he's getting close to the 50, and he's just got the kicker to beat. And he beats him, and he's crossing the 30, the 20, all the way down to the 10. And Hilton Head will run the kickoff from the 3-yard line all the way back to the end zone and put up their first score of the night as he brings it to the house from 97 yards away. Number three for the Seahawks on that incredible return, Jalen Sneed, the junior. He picked the ball up and made a hard left cut straight to the sideline and outran most of the kicking team as they were still in their straight lines before they realized he was moving to the sideline. He had passed over half the team, simply had the kicker to beat at about the 50, and sidestepped Chandler McMillan and took it to the house for 93 yards. Hilton Head will line up the quarterback, Sam. Number 12 is the placeholder. Ball is going to be snapped. Ball is going to be good hold, good kick, and I believe it's going to be signaled good as the Seahawks find the scoreboard for the first time tonight as they trail 20 to 7 20 to 7 it took them 13 seconds to get on the board tonight hopefully this is a one time deal and the Cougars can get a hold of this as they will now be receiving the ball great kick on that kickoff Great roll, bounced through a bunch of uh, uh, potential people to pick it up, rolled all the way down to the three-yard line, scooped up and taken to the house by number three tonight from the Seahawks, Jalen Sneed. Great run by him. A lot of missed opportunities by the Cougars as they let him take it 97 yards to the house. So let's see how the Cougars respond as we have three men deep, two men on the 11-yard line, one man on the six as this Seahawk team approaches the ball to kick it off tonight. Kicker for the Seahawks is going to be Alex Rucknow, number 18. The only kick we've seen tonight was a very short squib kick that landed at the 40-yard line. So we will see what happens as they make their second kick of the night. And I would assume the same little squib kick, because he's only stepped off about four yards. It's going to be a short little pooch, and it's barely going to go the 10 yards before it's fallen on by number 52 as the Cougar Duncan Carr, the 10th grader, scoops it up just over the 45-yard line, I believe at the 46. Cougars are in great field position as the Seahawks try a little onside kick right up the middle to see if they could really get rolling out in this early second half. 11.46 is on the clock. The Seahawks trail 7, Cougars 20. Cougars are going to line up in that wildcat formation with an out with a wide receiver out on either side. Two up backs in front of the quarterback, a single back to his left. He's going to hand off to the running back, number 23, who takes it around the right end for a short gain of maybe four yards. That's number 23 on the carry, Trey Magwood. Just a reminder that our game is brought to you tonight by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative, Cooperative Walterboro Ford, Bank of the Low Country, and the halftime sponsor was State Farm Insurance, Keisha Brown for the Band of Blue there. Second down and six to go for the Cougars as the quarterback's in the shotgun formation, up backs to his front right, and a single back standing to his left. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff. Is he going to carry it up the middle? He's going to miss, make the first man miss. He's going to be brought down by the second as he picks up about three, maybe four yards on the play to make it a very manageable 
third down and three, third down and two and a half. Good run by the quarterback, number four, Naron Holmes. Let's see what happens here. As Cougars lined up, across the 50-yard line for the first time this half. Ball spotted at the 47. Quarterback in the shotgun, up back to his left. Single receiver out to his top and bottom. And he's going to hand off to number 23, who takes it straight up the middle, just off center to the right. And he pushes over many, many men as he picks up about eight on the play to get out across the 40 to the 39. And it is going to be the first first down of this half. First down, Cougars. And those first downs tonight are brought to you by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative, PRTC, for all your telephone, cable, internet needs. Quarterback now is in the shotgun formation. Up back to his right beside him. He's going to take it, and he's going to keep it and stick out to the right. He's going to make one man miss, two men miss, but he's going to trip on his own accord after he shakes a, a tackler, and he's going to have somebody chapping in his face, and is the quarterback just going to walk off as a guy on the defense is going to get a little chippy there with the quarterback as he makes a good run. We have laundry on the field. that would be indicative of being against the Cougars as it's thrown at about that area of holding. Let's see what the call is going to be tonight. They're going to call a personal foul against the Cougars here. Not really sure who that originated on. Um, really didn't see a lot of chippiness other than the defender getting up, clapping his hands in the face of the quarterback. That's going to push the Cougars back across the 50-yard line to the 47 to bring up a second down and forever on the field. It looks to be a second and about 23. So we will see what happens here as the Cougars face a second down and 23 to go. Quarterback will line up in the shotgun formation. Single back to his left. Single wide receivers out to the right and left. And his two upbacks in his wildcat formation on either side. Now both clumping together on the right. Running back to the quarterback's left. Takes the snap. Hands off to number 23 who takes it up the middle. Steps to the right. And is bottled up as he runs into the back of one of his blockers. And the defender reaches around and grabs him. Number 55, Ryan Clark of that Seahawk defense. Very short gain on the play, if any as it's going to bring up a third and 24 for this Cougar offense. Cougars are driving towards the scoreboard. They have the field house to their backs. Cougars ball is spotted on the 47-yard line. Quarterback is in the shotgun with a single running back behind him. Wide outs to either side of the field. Quarterback takes the snap, fakes the handoff, rolls around to the right. Quick throw out in the flat to number five, who's going to catch, make one man miss, two, three, four, and he's going to be bottled up by the rest of the defense as he gets out to almost the 40-yard line, crossing the midfield mark to get almost back to the original spot on the field. Great catch by Jackie White, the 11th grader, who takes the catch, makes a couple men miss, and gets some positive yardage, but still a long fourth and 13. Ball is spotted on the 41-yard line for the Cougars. Offense is coming off the field as the punt team takes the field. Punting duties tonight have been left to number 40, Chandler McMillan, who has done an incredible job tonight on these punts, really hanging them up there. He's taking the snap, gets the ball off, great high booming kick to the five-yard line, and it's going to be fair caught at the four-and-a-half, five-yard line. He tried to run with it, but he definitely did a big fair catch as he saw number two barreling down on top of him, Antoine Griffin was right there to play cleanup if the runner decided to go anywhere. So great punt by Chandler McMillan to pin this Seahawk offense deep inside the territory of the Cougars as the ball spotted just on the inside of the five-yard line for the Seahawks. Seahawks have 95 yards to go. It is nine minutes remaining on the clock in the third quarter as the Cougars lead 20-7. to seven. Quarterback number 12 here for the Seahawks is lined up in the shotgun. Two receivers out on the right and left. And he's going to step back looking to throw. He's going to be pressured in the backfield in the end zone. Gets out past the five to about the eight, nine yard line where he's brought down by a host of defenders led by number 43, Chris Hires, the 11th grade linebacker who is all over the field tonight. Number 43, Chris Hires on that tackle along with number 33, Lamontre Green. Defenders, the defensive line got to him in the end zone, but he escaped to get out to about the eight. 
Quarterback's got trip receivers to his left, and he's looking left as he takes the snap. He's now running from some defenders, still looking to that left, makes a quick throw, which is bobbled at the five-yard line and thrown straight out of bounds. And so it's going to bring up a third down and about seven to go for this Seahawk offense as the ball is still placed on the seven yard on the eight-yard line. And the defense is doing a really good job keeping them contained after the great punt by number 40, Chandler McMillan, to pin this Seahawks offense deep inside that five-yard line. Seahawks offense has taken the field. Uh, quarterback's in the shotgun with two receivers to his left and two to his right. A single up back in the backfield. Quarterback's going to take the snap. He's looking to his left to make a throw. He can't find anybody. Is bottled up quickly at the two-yard line by number 31, Daryl Green. Linebacker came through that A-gap and just popped him in the backfield. Almost took him for the safety to make it a fourth down and 11, maybe 12. The Seahawks offense is checking out of the field, and the Seahawks punt team is going to take their place. Alex Rucknow, number 18, is the kicker. Been handling the kicking duties for the Seahawks tonight. Punts have been low and fast. Um, he's not a high booming punter, but he kicks them low and they get good rolls. We have number three back for the Cougars. That would be Joran Simmons, as well as 23, Trey Magwood, both standing on their own 40-yard line as they wait on this punt. Snaps good to the punter. Punter gets the ball off and away. Low snap. They're going to land at the 30, roll across the 35, and roll out of bounds at about the 36 and a half yard line. The Cougars are going to have great field possession as they're already on their side of the field, just on the other side of the 35 with a very short field to work with. And we'll see what this Cougar offense has worked up as the defense is taking care of business yet again. We'll see what offensive coordinator Chris Howell is going to call tonight as the Cougars take their second possession of this half. Cougars lead 7-24 in the second, third quarter, lead 20-7. to Seahawks only score coming off a kickoff return to start the third quarter. Quarterback takes a snap in the backfield, hands off to 23, who goes straight up the middle, just off left center of the, of the center. That'd be number 23 making the big run, Trey Magwood, for a gain of about four and a half or five to bring up a very manageable second down and six for the Cougars. Yet again, that offensive front doing a great job. 72, 75, 65, 50, and 63 for the Cougars. Doing a really good job in the trenches up front tonight. Cougars is in this quarterback. Is going to be have a single back to his right, wide out to his right. And the quarterback keeps the, the ball. He's going to go around the right side, and he's going to pick up good yardage as he gets across the 30 into the 28-yard line, and is going to be brought down just shy of the first down to bring up a very manageable Third and one, third and a one and a half. Great carry there by the quarterback, number four, Naron Holmes. Defense for the Seahawks has really struggled to pick out a rhythm tonight and make consistent stops on this Cougar offense if they've just been pushing and pushing. Quarterback for the Cougars is going to line up in the shotgun formation, single back to his left. Takes the snap, low snap, picks it up off the ground. He has to run it, um, is bottled up as he's fumbling for the ball. Lucky to get anything off that and not lose the ball. Good job to at least get the ball back up. The ball is going to be spotted back at the 30-yard line, so a loss of about one or two on the play to make it a fourth down and a long three. The offensive line is signaling they want to go for it. We'll see what the coaching staff makes the determination here. Ball is spotted on the 30. Coach is really kind of determining what he wants to do right here. Coach said he wants to take some time and think about this, so we're going to take a timeout. And our game tonight is brought to you again by Palmetto Rural Telephone and Cooperative, as well as Walterboro Ford, Bank of the Low Country, and halftime sponsor State Farm Insurance, Keisha Brown.
and the Cougar offense is going to take the field. It's going to be fourth down and three to go. Quarterback's going to be lined up his feet on about the 36-yard line, a single back to his right. And let's see what they've dialed up here. He's going to hand off to 23 right up the middle, who's going to cut across and going to make it out to the 25-yard line and pick up a big first down right there for the Cougars. And so we'll see what happens is another first down Cougars from PRTC tonight. Great push by that offensive front. Number 72 doing a great job. Ian Shark doing a great job on the blocks on his side, followed by 50, Jerry Myers. Bring up a first and 10. Ball's going to be spotted on the 24-yard line. Quarterback and shotgun. The up back is going to be behind him. Quarterback takes the snap, fakes the handoff. He's looking to throw. He's going to throw to the deep left corner of the end zone, number 15, but he's going to overthrow him by a couple yards and make it an unplayable ball out of the back of the end zone. Number 15, Jatod Allen, was really trying to make a play on the ball, just couldn't do anything with it out of bounds. Good blocking by that offensive front to give the quarterback time. Good coverage by the defender for the Seahawks there to really press him deep. 71 had a really good block on the play there for the Cougars tonight. Right beside number 75, Deshaun McNeil. Cougars going to line up second down and 10. Ball on the 24 as they lead 20-7. to 7. Quarterback in the shotgun, up back to his left. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff. Quarterback keeps it, comes around the left side. He's got nothing but daylight. Makes one man miss and finally pushed out of bounds. It just inside the 10-yard line, and it's going to be another Cougar first down with under five minutes to go in the third quarter. That big first down is brought to you tonight by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative, bringing you telephone, cable, fast internet, and everything else you need, whether it's for personal use at home or business use. They can take care of anything you need. PRTC. Great run by the quarterback there, number four. Naron Holmes on the carries. He came around that left side. He'll be lined up in shotgun, the running back behind him. Takes the snap, hands off to the running back, 23 up the middle, Magwood, and he's going to carry a group of defenders. He has not been brought down yet, and he's got one, two, three, four, five guys pushing on him before he's finally brought down by a host of defenders, but not before he carried them all just a little closer to that five-yard line. Very short gain on the play, but tremendous effort by number 23, Trey Magwood, on that play to really keep them feet moving when he hits when he makes contact with that line of scrimmage. Offensive coordinator Chris Howell calling in the play to the quarterback as he's going to line up receivers out to his right and to his left. He's got a single back to his left with his two wildcat up backs in front of him to his right. He's going to take the snap and he's going to fake the handoff, hands it off to 23 straight up the middle who touches nobody and Trey Magwood is going to score another touchdown tonight for the Cougars and that touchdown is brought to you exclusively by Walterboro Ford. Whether you're looking for a new Ford vehicle, whether you're looking for a pre-owned vehicle, whether you need service done to an existing vehicle, Walterboro Ford has you covered right off Bells Highway. And we're going to attempt an extra point tonight. Our last three attempts at an extra point, two last week and one tonight, have been botched. And so we will see what happens as Chandler McMiller holds so that number 19, Riley Obadias, can make the kick. And it's a great hold and a great kick. And we have a successful extra point to put the Cougars up 27-7. to Three minutes, 41 seconds remain in the third quarter. And the Cougars lead the contest 27 to seven, And this game, again, is brought to you tonight by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative, Walterboro Ford, and Bank of the Lowcountry. We'll be right back with you after this short break. Thank you for those, again, that are tuning in with us and following this contest alone tonight. This game is brought to you by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative, Walterboro Ford, Bank of the Low Country, and the Cougars just scored to make this contest 27-7 against Hilton Head. The kick has been made by Chandler McMillan 
and he kicked it deep to the five-yard line for number two, Antoine Griffin, to make a big tackle in open space at the 20-yard line of the kick returner. Great open field tackle by number two, Antoine Griffin. Nothing but daylight behind him. Incredible job in the open field there, making an incredible tackle on the play. Ball will be spotted inside the 20-yard line at the 19, and the Seahawks have a lot of ground to cover. Didn't do too well last time after being pinned by a deep punt by Chandler McMillan. Seahawks have two receivers to the left, one to the right, and a single up back. Quarterback takes the snap. He's going to keep the ball and try to go up the middle, but he's going to be wrapped up in the backfield and slammed to the dirt by number 93, Josh McClendon. Josh McClendon grabs the quarterback after he decides to keep it and not hand it off, and he slams the quarterback, number 12, to the dirt for about a four-yard loss to bring up second down and 14. Great, great penetration by that defensive line tonight. Quarterback had the option to hand it off and decided to keep it, and Josh McClendon said, no way. Quarterback's in the shotgun formation, number 12, Sam. He's got two receivers to his right and one to his left. Takes the snap, looking to his right, looking to his left, and he's not doing nothing but running from receivers. And he's got a linebacker coming into him. He escapes it, and he makes the throw downfield, and he's going to be finally brought down by number 22. But we got some flags flying in. Number 10 for the defense, or the offense, the Seahawks, blindsided one of the Colleton defenders, and I believe we're going to get an unsportsmanlike penalty on this as he blindsides the defender coming to make the play. We'll wait and see what's decided out here. But the pass was completed and brought all the way out to about the 41-yard line. But depending on this call here from the officials, that may be going backwards. I don't know if they're going to call a block in the back here on the offense. It was close. It was one of those kind of blocks that take you sort of in the back and sort of in the side. It is going to be a personal foul against the Seahawks tonight, blocking the back on that play. And it, it was one of those close plays. It wasn't a blatant decleating of hitting somebody in the back, but it was definitely a penalty play on it. I don't think any malice was meant by the hit or anything crazy, but it was definitely a hit a little behind the shoulder pads one that you just don't make when the ball carrier is already being brought to the ground. Quarterback trying to talk to the officials about the play. Not really excited about it after making a, a scramble and an escape. It's now going to be a second down and two after the penalty. It was a first down. It's going to be brought back. Ball will be spotted at the 28-yard line, 27-yard line for second down and two. Quarterback's going to be in the shotgun. Single receiver to the left, two to the right. Single up back beside him to his left. Quarterback number 12, Sam Suma, is going to take the snap. It's going to be a hard count. He's not going to do anything with it. We're going to see flags hit the field. Let's see what the call is going to be. It's going to be an encroachment call on the defense to give them a first down on the play. They had a very short second down, and so that encroachment penalty on the defense there pushes them across the 30-yard line, puts them at about the 31-and-a-half, and, and it's going to be a first down for the Seahawks tonight, but they still trail the Cougars 27-7, to 2.30 to go in the third quarter. Running back comes in motion. He's going to hand off, going to make a run up the middle. The running back's going to be bottled up really quickly by number 31 for our defense, Daryl Green, the senior linebacker, who does a good job of reaching across and making that tackle so that the running back doesn't get any further. A good run by the running back gets about five yards on the carry. That would be number six, Lavarius Brown. Been a real pass-heavy offense tonight. Made a good run on that. Defensive front doing a good job tonight, really doing containment. That linebacking core coming up, making big hits. Quarterback has three receivers to his right, a single to his left. He's going to be looking right to these three receivers, throws shallow to number seven, who's going to catch the ball and drop it on the catch, and I believe it's going to be recovered by the Cougars, and we'll see what the call is made on the field. It looks like a Cougar's going to be coming up with the ball, and it's going to be a Cougar first down as the ball was knocked loose from number seven, Evan Elliott from the Hilton Head Seahawks, and the ball's coming loose, recovered by the Cougars, first down Cougars, ball's going to be spotted on the 46-and-a-half-yard line. 
quarterback out there for the Seahawks trying to plead a case for something. I don't know what it is, but he is still talking with the official and making arm motions like it was an illegal tackle of some sorts. But the fact remains, the ball was lost. Cougars recovered. Now it's a Cougar ball. Ball spotted on the 45-yard line. They're driving toward the end zone that contains the scoreboard. Field house hit their back. Quarterback's in the shotgun. Single back up to his right. Hands off to number 23, who goes right up the middle. Makes one man miss. Brought down by the second man, number five, Jaden Gilliam Singleton of the Seahawks, but not before he picks up about three and a half, four yards on the play. Going to be second down and about seven to go for the Cougars as they're going to line up in that very familiar Wildcat formation where they have a heavy back step right behind the line of scrimmage to the right or left side. They've got the single receivers out to the right and left and the single running back in the backfield with the quarterback. Quarterback's in the shotgun. He's got the single back beside him to his right. He's going to take the snap. He's going to hand off to 23 around this left side, and he's going to be bottled up in the backfield quickly by a host of defenders led by number 55, Ryan Clark of that Hilton Head defensive front. Going to bring up a third down and nine. Going to be a loss of yardage on the play. Cougars now facing a third down and nine. Ball spotted on the 44-yard line. Cougars lead this contest 27-7 to with 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Offense cannot take their foot off the gas just yet. This Hilton Head offense is very explosive. Got a great arm in the quarterback. And so the offense needs to keep pushing down that field and eating clock. 20 seconds left on the clock. Quarterback for Cougars. Under center. Takes the snap. Rolls to his right. Looking to throw downfield. Makes the connection number three at the marker. And he's going to shake the first man loose but be brought down by the second or third. But he will get forward progress. And I believe they're going to mark this as a first down. We'll see where the spot is finally made. Great roll around right there by the quarterback, number four, to get around that right side, keeping his eyes downfield to find number three, Joran Simmons, wide open. Hits him in the numbers, and it is indeed going to be. Oh, I don't know if they're going to measure, if they're calling it. It's a first down, Cougars. Big play right there for the Cougars, a third and nine, and picked up a first and ten out of it. Great first down, and that first down is brought to you by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative, PRTC. And we're going to have a brief timeout on the field as that quarter runs down to an end, and we hit the fourth quarter of tonight's contest. Cougars lead the Seahawks 27-7. to We'll be right back after a short break. All right, after that brief break, the ball has been reset. It's placed at the 35-yard line. Cougars are now driving towards the field house. Handoff by the, from the quarterback to number 23 straight up the middle. On that play, he's going to get about five, five and a half yards. Great carry by number 23, Trey Magwood, as he takes the handoff straight up the middle and follows the backs of his blockers in front of him, led by number 72, Ian Shark. Offense doing a really good job tonight up front, pushing people around, really gaining that leverage on the line. Number 65, Kobe Ferguson. Number 63, Hayden Sauls. Really doing a great job on that front line. 55 right up there. I mean, number 50, Jerry Myers right up there with them. All doing a really good job on blocking and creating avenues and open areas for their running backs to see and get eyes downfield so they know where to make cuts and where to get open to. Cougars are lining up in an offensive formation, the same single outs on either side of the field. Quarterback has an up back to his right. High snap, takes it, is going to keep it by himself, runs straight up the middle, and he has nobody 
for 20 yards as the quarterback easily walks from the 20 to the 15 to the 10, 5, goal line, and touchdown number four, Naron Holmes. Cougars yet again putting points on the board as he walked in untouched for the last 15 yards of that run. Great effort by the quarterback to find a seam and go through it, a seam created by that offensive front of this Colleton Cougar squad. Cougars lining up again for a P, for another attempt at an extra point. Holder is number 40, Chandler McMillan, and the kick is going to be made by Riley Obaneus, the ninth grader. So let's see. They had a successful one last time. Let's see what happens this time. Good snap, good hold, and I believe good kick as the Cougars put another extra point up to bring the score up to 34. Cougars, 7, Hilton Head. The Cougars are dominating tonight's competition thus far. 11-14 left in the fourth quarter as the Cougars lead 34-7. And the Cougars will again kick off to this Hilton Head Seahawk return team. That touchdown was brought to you by Walterboro Ford. As the Cougars drove it in, they could also drive in with Walterboro Ford, bringing you a new Ford to your home. I suggest anybody listening in need of a vehicle, go see the good salesmen and women over at Walterboro Ford right off Bells Highway. If you have a vehicle with service issues, you need an oil change, you need an alignment, you need major work, go see the great technicians over at Walterboro Ford. That extra point brought to you by Bank of the Low Country. Extra point was kicked by number 19, Raleigh Obaneus, and it was brought to you by the Bank of the Low Country. Now we have Chandler McMillan, number 40, taking his kicking duties as the kickoff man, and he's stepping back deep, which would make me think he's kicking off deep to this Seahawk return team. He's approaching the ball. He's going to make the kick, and it's going to be a, a mid-range kick to about the 15-yard line. It's going to bounce, hit the dirt, finally picked up by the defender who finds a little daylight, but he's going to be drug out of bounds as he gets pushed up and up and upfield, and he crosses the 35-yard line and brought down at about the 37 or the 38-yard line. Should have been brought down 10 yards ago, but the pile was pushing him up instead of out. So we'll see what happens. We have an injury on the field. One of the Seahawk players is down, and it looks like a cramp in that left calf. He's reaching for his toes and really just grabbing that calf area, wiggling his toes around. Looks like a cramp to me from this angle. Not sure of a number, but it's a Seahawks player grabbing a leg. Trainers for Colleton have stepped out on the field to tend this young man. Great drive again put together by that offense from the Cougars tonight. Good offensive front, pushing them boys down the field. Running backs doing a great job of getting in the holes and putting blocks in when they're not carrying the ball. And wide receivers, we haven't talked a lot about our wide receivers tonight, but both of them doing a great job. Number three, Joran Simmons. Number 15, Jatad Allen out there in the, in the flats doing a really good job of blocking downfield. You know, that's something you really don't hear a lot about is players making the plays that, that nobody hears. And that's when a receiver blocks downfield, not right at the line, but 10 yards, 15, 20 yards deep to give those avenues that chance to really extend and keep moving down the field. So great job by our receivers tonight to keep moving, to stay active. The player for the Seahawks, number six, Lavarius Brown is up. He's on his feet, on his own power, and he's slowly walking across the field. I would imagine it was a cramp. A little left foot looks a little tender, still grabbing the back of it. Hilton Head is going to line up in that shotgun formation we've seen all night. Quarterback deep, single up back beside him. Two wide receivers to his right, two down to his left. The up back will be to the quarterback's left-hand side. Quarterback's waiting on the ball to be blown into play by the head official, and the whistle's been blown. Quarterback surveying the field, reading the defense. Quarterback takes the snap, low snap, bobbles the snap, and he's going to be hit and doesn't have anything to do. He's going to chuck it to a man. We'll see if the catch was made. That was an incredible catch by number seven, Evan Elliott, of that wide receiving crew to be wide open looking for his quarterback. Quarterback bobbled it. It was on the ground, almost wrapped up ten different times and just chunked it to a wide open man on the sideline who kept his toes in bound so that they could get down the field. It's going to bring up a second down and one to go. Great escape play there by the Seahawks to make something out of nothing. Defensive core doing the best they could. Wide receiver just happened to catch it with his toes still inbound. Great catch by number seven, Evan Elliott for the Seahawks. Seahawks will be in that shotgun formation. Trips to the right. 
Single receiver down to his left. Single up back to his right. Quarterback takes it, looking to that trip side of the field. Throws it short into where the linebackers are. He's going to make one man miss, two men miss. And he's got nothing but daylight. Gets to the 30, 14, 15, 10. And he's going to be brought down. But there is flags in the backfield with the quarterback. I imagine this is all going back again. And the same penalty we've seen all night for Hilton Head is a hold on that offensive front. And the tragedy with that is they've had two huge plays brought back tonight because of a holding penalty off a good throw and a good catch and a wide receiver making good moves to get downfield into open areas. Brought back by a holding penalty. And I hate to say it, but our defensive front have been so aggressive tonight, pushing through that line, pushing through everything around them, that when the quarterback is standing back there for days, it is curious because he's normally running for his life. It's going to be a deep penalty. And it's going to take them from, they were spotted at the 47-yard line. Ball's going to be brought all the way back to the 31-yard line to bring up a first down and over 20 for the Seahawks. I believe that's going to be a first and 27. Seahawks have two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. Single man in the backfield. Quarterback's looking to his left, trying to make a play. Got flags coming down in the secondary. Quarterback's running for his life. Gets the ball off, throws it deep. Two receivers run into each other, trying to make the catch. Deep flag in the secondary. Curious what this flag is going to be. We'll see what it's called. You don't normally see a flag thrown 10, 15, 16 yards down the field. Official brings it back about seven yards we'll see what the call on play is going to be i don't know if we have an illegal lineman downfield or oh we have a holding call on the defense i guess a linebacker must have grabbed hold of a receiver coming past him and so we're going to get a little yardage back for the seahawks quarterback was running for his life couldn't find anybody so he's running wide chunks it downfield for a probable and the two receivers collide with each other both going for the ball and so neither one make the catch, but the holding penalty brings it up to make it a first down and 16 for the Seahawks. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Single up back beside the quarterback. Takes the snap. He looks left, looks right, throws across the middle to a wide open receiver who gets across the 50 to the 45 and brought down at about the 43-yard line by number 31, Daryl Green, and number 33 by number 22, Trey Fields of the defense. Quarterback had all day to survey the field and really find where he wanted to throw that ball to pick up a first down there as he brings him across the 50-yard line. We have two receivers to the right, two to the left, and a single up back. Quarterback's in the shotgun, gets the snap, looks left. He's trying to look downfield, trying to find something shorter, can't find anything. Finds a man in the middle of the field who's wide open, who's finally brought down by number 17 of the defense, Jaheim Bellamy, who was a defender, a defensive back on this right-hand side. Quarterback was scrambling in that backfield, couldn't find anywhere to throw it, and dumped it off in the middle of the field to pick up another big first down. The Cougars are leading the contest still 34-7 to with 9 minutes and 41 seconds to go in this contest. Defense trying to switch out to a player right quick. Gets him in. Quarterback's get bottled up quick in the backfield, and he's going to throw it as he's going to the ground for a catch. Incredible play by the quarterback. He was 12 yards deep and falling to the ground as he threw the ball forward to make a completion right back to the line of scrimmage. I didn't know if he was going to chunk it out of bounds right there or what he was going to do, but he made a play as he is falling to the earth. Great play by the quarterback, number 12, Sam Suma, as he was being wrapped up by a host of Colleton Cougars. Cougar defense still making a stand here as the ball's on the 25-yard line. Quarterback has two receivers to either side. Takes the snap. Looks right. Looks left. He's going to roll around to his right. Got a lot of daylight. Throws it across the middle of the field. And, the court, and they're going to score, but it's coming back. We've got a major hold in the backfield again. This hold is going to be on number 56, Chris Crosby for Hilton Head. And it was deep in the backfield, and you could see it for days. I mean, he had the defender wrapped up and bear-hugging him. He's not even arguing it. He's just got his head down walking off because he knows. A 30-plus yard touchdown pass coming back because of another hold. Seahawks have probably got 100 yards and holding penalties easily brought back on them tonight. 
this defensive front is almost too much for them to contain. They're having to grab them. 71, 91, 72 for Colleton County are bringing the pain tonight. And the Seahawks are feeling it as they get holding call after holding call. Cougars defense is on the field. Nine, eight minutes and 49 seconds is on the clock. Cougars lead 34 to 7 as the Seahawks face a second down and 29. Seahawks quarterback is in the shotgun, has two wide receivers to his left. I, I believe he's going to make that three wide receivers to the left, a single receiver to the right, and a single up back to his right. Quarterback's going to take the ball. He's looking across the middle, throws it out in the flats to the left, and the man's going to be reached, bottled up, and slammed to the ground quickly at about the 43-yard line. Great open field tackle by number 33. And now we have flags coming in on the field. We got some jawing back and forth between a defender for Colleton and an offensive receiver for the Seahawks. We'll see what this penalty becomes. I would assume an unsportsmanlike conduct when it happens five minutes after the play. We'll see if it's called against Colleton or if it's called against the Seahawks tonight. The flag is going to be against number 17, Jaheim Bellamy. But he was really just defending himself as the wide receiver got all over him at the end of that play. This Hilton Head offense is really gassed. They're um, arguing with the officials, holding hands up, laying on the ground, cramps. Just a lot going on right now with Hilton Head as the officials are debating this call and talking about what's going on. So we'll see what the final calls can be made on the field as it's yet to be determined. Officials still talking about it. So we'll see what the call is going to be. They're going to be offsetting penalties called against the wide receiver and the defensive back, which will offset, which will keep the ball where it's at. And Seahawks are going to be looking at a super long second and 29. I believe we're going to have a timeout on the field. Seahawks will call a timeout as they try to regroup this second and 29 situation. And we'll be right back with you after this brief timeout break. After that brief timeout break, this contest will begin again. Eight minutes and 36 seconds are on the clock. Cougars lead 34 to seven. And the White Hat official is having a discussion with both teams at the 42 yard line. I think really letting them know they're not gonna tolerate chippiness and they're gonna keep a fair, clean game on this field. He's letting both teams know I can appreciate that in an officiating crew. Seahawks, third and 29. Ball is at the 44-yard line. Quarterback has two wide receivers to his right and one to his left. Single up back in the backfield. Takes the snap, and he's looking downfield and to his right, but he's going to throw it short and underneath. Ball is going to be dropped and incomplete to bring up a fourth and 29. Ball will be spotted at the 43-yard line. Let's see if we have a punt situation happening here or whether the Seahawks are going to keep the offense on the field and just try to push them as far as they can. Big decision to be made here. Offense is going to step off the field, heads down, really just defeated at this moment. You know, when an offense makes big, big plays and they keep getting brought back by penalty after penalty, it is just demoralizing to a team. Fourth and 29, and the Seahawks are going to punt this ball away. Cougars have number two, Antoine Griffin, 
back deep to receive ball, standing on his own 10-yard line. We'll see what happens. Seahawks are facing the scoreboard. Cougars are facing the field house. Good snap, good kick by the punter. It's going to hit and bounce end over end into the end zone. A deeper kick than they wanted. And so the Cougars are going to take the ball at the 20-yard line. And we'll see what this Cougar offense has in store as offensive coordinator Chris Howell has his men in action yet again tonight. I want to recognize our coaching staff for the Cougars. Obviously, head coach is Kobe Peeler. Offensive coordinator and quarterback coach, Chris Howell. Defensive coordinator, outside linebackers, Scott Bowers. Courtney Singleton, special teams coordinator and defensive backs. Scott Wheeler, director of football operations and offensive line coach. Sean Lyons, offensive line. Kiwi Rose, defensive line. Nick Jones, defensive line. Eddie Linebacker. Eddie Lambert, inside linebackers. Sheldon Pierce, wide receivers. Brian Reed, the kicker. Holly Glover, the athletic administrative assistant to Wayne Alston, the athletic director here at Colleton County. Quarterback for the Cougars is going to take the snap, hand it off in the backfield to number 23, who's going to get a good run up the middle of the field, just right of center, and he's going to be brought down after a very short gain of about three yards to the 23-yard line to make it a second down and seven, and the clock is ticking. Less than eight minutes and ten seconds on the clock remaining in the fourth quarter as the Cougars lead 34, Hilton Head, 7. Cougars line up with that single out wide receiver on the right and left. Up back's going to be to the quarterback's right. Quarterback's in the shotgun formation. Quarterback's going to take the snap, and he's going to keep the ball and come around this right side, and he's got a little bit of room, makes a man miss, makes another man miss, but he's going to step out of bounds after being pushed as he crosses the 32-yard line, and I guess the ball will be spotted around that 32, 33-yard line Great run by the quarterback, number four. They were on Holmes, and it's going to bring about another first down, Cougars. And that first down tonight is brought to you by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative, PRTC, for all your home and business, internet, cable needs. Cougars are in the shotgun formation. Back behind the quarterback, hands it off up the middle of the field to number eight, who makes a man miss and then meets a safety as he crosses the 40-yard line, number eight, Montana Blue on that carry straight off the center's right-hand side and running upfield. Great block right there by number 73, Benny Jenkins, on that offensive front. Officials talking about some stuff down there on the field. Not sure what's going on. Debating the spot of the ball. The ball's going to be spotted at the 41-yard line to bring up a second down and two situation for the Cougars. Quarterback will be in that shotgun formation. Running back is going to be to his left side. Single receivers to his left and to his right. Takes the snap. Low snap. Fakes the handoff. Keeps it and goes around the left side. Makes a man miss. Got one man to beat. And he's going to get around him. And he's going to go into the house to the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Cougars! Number four, Na number four, Naron Holmes just took that one to the house from the 41-yard line. Huge play, 59-yard touchdown run as he came around that left side. But the negative is we've got flags in the backfield at the line of scrimmage, which can generally mean one thing, 59-yard touchdown run is coming back. Going to be a holding call against the Cougars. That hurts. And there it is. Hold. Man, that hurts. Great run. Want to give some props out there, though, to number 15, Jatad Allen, that left side wide receiver. He was making a block 20 yards downfield so that his quarterback could spring that corner and get around. So great block by number 15, Jatad Allen out there to allow his quarterback to make that turn and get upfield for that 59-yard touchdown, which got called back. So it's now second down and nine. Cougars, see what they do. Ball spotted on the 34-yard line. Quarterback has the running back behind him in the shotgun. Takes the snap, hands off to the running back up the middle of the field, gets a short gain of about two or three on the play. He's going to bring up a long third and six. Good run up the gut right there, though, by number eight, Montana Blue of this Cougar backfield. 
took the handoff right up the middle, just went off to the right of the center and got a couple yards on it, bottled up quickly by number 15 of the defense, Matthew Larkby of the Hilton Head Sea Eagles, Seahawks. Defense switching out a couple players. Colleton offense lined up. Single receivers out to the right and left in that Wildcat formation. Quarterback has a running back to his right. Takes the snap, and he's going to come out running to the right. Oh, he's going to get a great block by Montana Blue around to the right. And number four is, I believe, gassed because he was slowing down before he ever got to the corner. Montana Blue made a good block for him to spring him around the corner, but he just lost the juice and got caught from behind by number four of the defense, Nashawn Green. But it is enough for the Cougars to pick up another first down on the night. And that first down brought to you by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative. I'm looking at a couple members of that PRTC construction crew who are in the stands tonight enjoying the game. We appreciate that construction crew bringing that line from the road to the house. Let's see what the Cougars do now that they have a new set of downs. First and 10, ball spotted on the 45-yard line. Quarterback in the shotgun, single back behind him. Takes a snap, hands off to his right. Running back's got one man to step over, and he gets out almost to the 50-yard line. Pickup of about four on the play to get him to the 49-yard line. Make it a second down and six. Good, strong run right there by number eight, Montana Blue. He had one man that a defender had fallen down at the line that he hurdled and had to kind of semi-step around and over. If he didn't have that hindrance, he might have taken that one to the house. Montana Blue just blowing up the hole right there. Quarterback will be lined up for Colleton in the shotgun, running back to his right. Takes the snap. Quarterback comes around to the right-hand side. He's going to make one man miss, get hit by the second, but the quarterback is now number five, Jackie White. Good run by the quarterback, Jackie White, as he picks up about four yards on the play to make it Oh, they're going to give him a generous spot. They're going to put him out there across the 45-yard line at the 44-yard line, and it's going to be another Cougar first down on this drive, and that first down is brought to you, like I said, by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative, your local telephone communication leader. Cougar, new quarterback, number five, Jackie White in play right now, running back number eight, Montana Blue, lined up behind him in the shotgun formation. Four minutes and 40 seconds remain in the game. Cougars lead 34-7. Quarterback takes a snap, low snap, bobbles it, but he picks it up and powers forward across the 40-yard line. To a, They're going to spot him right on the 40 for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Good make play by number five right there, Jackie White. Low snap, struggled picking it up and getting it off, so he had to just tuck and go. Still picked up four and a half on the play. Great run. By number five there, Jackie White. Let's see what happens. It's quarterback number four, and Neron Holmes is back in at play. He'll be in the quarterback position, deep running back behind him. Fate hands the hand off to the right. Running back goes up the middle, and the running back's going to be number eight, Montana Blue, with a great run all the way out to the 35-yard line, just short of that first down marker, but a great heads-down run up the middle as he just lowered a shoulder and pushed a pile of men over. Again, great running tonight is allowed because we've got 72, 73, 75, 71, 65, and 63 on that offensive front line, allowing movement of that ball up and down the field. Great job tonight by this offensive front that the Cougars have. Quarterback in the shotgun, running back to his left. Hands off to the running back off the right side of center, and he's going to cross the 30-yard line, but we've got flags coming in behind the play. We'll see what this call is going to be. He's going to pick up the first down, but it's obviously coming back. I'm honestly not I'm not criticizing the officiating crew by any means. I don't know how the, call, the hold was called because it was behind the run in the backfield with just the quarterback. So maybe he just couldn't throw the flag to what he saw, but there was no defenders even in the backfield at that moment. Great run is going to be brought back to bring up a third down and 12 for the Cougars here. Ball is going to be spotted across the 45 at the 46-yard line. We'll see what the offensive coordinator dials up right now, what Chris Howell is going to call for this offense. Quarterback number four, Naron Holmes, is going to be in that shotgun formation running back behind him 
Two wildcat up backs in front of him to his right. Single backs, single outs on either side of the field. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff, looks right, but he's covered up, and he's going to throw the ball to five, but it's going to be batted down by the defender, number six on the play, Laverius Brown. Good heads-up play by the defender to knock that down before number five could put hands on it and get upfield. We just want to take a moment again to thank everybody that's at home listening to us. Due to COVID, we are limiting capacity to our games, and this is the only way we can get the game out there to everyone still at home. So we thank and appreciate everyone tuning in, and tonight's game is brought to you by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative, Walterboro Ford, Bank of the Low Country, and the halftime was brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Agent Keisha Brown. Cougars were going to punt the ball away, number 40, Chandler McMillan back to punt, but the Seahawks have decided to burn one of their timeouts. So we're going to take a quick break here as we have a timeout on the field. And as we bring this game back into play, two minutes, 54 seconds remain in the game tonight. Cougars lead 34-7. Chandler McMillan back to punt this ball away. And he's going to get the ball off. It's going to be a high punt. It's going to be kicked. It's going to land at the 20 and make a good college and roll to down inside the 15, 14. Maybe makes it to the 13 before it's finally spotted down by number 52 of that kick team, Duncan Carr, the 10th grade linebacker. Cougar defense has really been impressive tonight, pushing through that offensive front, disrupting the backfield, really getting to the quarterback and not letting him accomplish anything with a lot of time. The few times they've made some good plays downfield, some deep passes, big runs, there's been a hold to bring the Seahawks offense back almost every time tonight. Seahawks have a single score on the board when they return to kickoff for 93 yards. So let's see what the Seahawks offense has in store. The ball is spotted on the 13-yard line. They've got a lot of ground to cover. Quarterback's got two wide outs to either side. Takes the snap. Pump fakes. Finally got, got tons of room. Throws across the middle of the field. And I don't know if it's going to be ruled a catch or if it's going to be ruled down. It's going to be all the way out to the 35. They're going to signal a catch at the 37-yard line. A very generous spot and catch. Um, very low ball. He was rolling as he called it. But it's going to be a first down Seahawks, and they're going to move the ball all the way out to the 36-yard line in a single play. Quarterback, again, has split receivers, two to his right, two to his left, and he's got a little bit of time in the backfield. Number one's coming for him. He sheds one tackle, gets across the line of scrimmage, and is brought down by number 43 again tonight, Chris Hires of that linebacking crew. Chris doing a good job there in open field to bring the quarterback down, just really bottling him up and dropping him. Quarterback still picked up about six yards on the carry to bring about a second down and four to go. Let's see what the Seahawks offense does now. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. Up back in the backfield is to the quarterback's left. Takes a snap, steps back. Got a little bit of time, but he's getting hit, encroached on fast. Wide receiver catches it at the 50, but is hit immediately by Cougar number 25 of the defense, Dorian Gant the 11th grade defensive back. Dorian Gant right there on top of him as soon as he catches it, but it's still enough for a Seahawk first down on the evening. Quarterback number 12, Sam Sumas, had more time this go-round than he's had the entire night in those two passes. Defense getting to him, but he is stepping back. He's 10, 15 yards from the line of scrimmage before he makes the throw. He makes another throw across the center of the field. Wide receiver catches it and is brought down immediately by, I believe, number 20 of the defense, Jordan Manigo. But it's enough for a first down. Puts the ball inside the 40-yard line to about the 39-yard line as the Seahawks are marching down the field. One minute, 34 seconds to go on the clock. Three receivers to the quarterback's left. He's in the shotgun formation. Takes the snap. No, yeah, there's the flags. 
We had, I don't know if it's going to be a defensive or an offensive first offsides. A lot of people were moving. We'll see who they blame it on. Give me a false start here on the on the offense. Going to walk the ball off, make it a little bit longer. First down. All right, quarterback comes back into that shotgun formation. Two receivers left, two receivers to the right. Number 12 in the shotgun, waiting on the snap. Takes the ball, steps back, surveying his right, surveying his left, following a man across the field, all the way to the right, who gets to the right sideline, stutter steps, makes one man miss, and is thrown down by, yet again, number 43, Chris Hires of that linebacking core. But yet again, another first down for the Seahawks. That's three plays in a row, three first downs in a row. He has had more time these past three possessions to throw the ball than ever, but he's also taken the snap and retreating quickly backwards. He is not staying in that pocket because he knows that defensive front is coming. Takes the snaps, three receivers to his left, throws across the middle and dropped. Great throw, but dropped by the receiver to bring about an incompletion. There is one minute on the clock. Cougars lead the game tonight, 34-7. to A touchdown here by the Seahawks will not do anything to change that. But if the Seahawks score, the defense will have allowed them a single score tonight. It is the defense's pride that's on the line at the moment. Do they hold them from being scoreless offensively and only allow a special teams touchdown, or do the Seahawks make it tonight offensively? Quarterback has two wide receivers on the right and left. Quarterback throws to the right, and he's going to be brought down right around the marker, maybe just shy of the marker at the 15-yard line, pushed out of bounds by the defender. The receiver's still on the ground, getting up nice and slow, but getting up, stepping back in. He's saying he needs water. Hilton Head is going to use their final time out of the time out of the evening, as the Cougars are winning the contest, 34 to 7, 51 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. We have a timeout. We'll be right back with you in just a moment. Offense is back on the field and ready to take it as they just use their final timeout of the night. Hilton Head trails 34-7, to 7, 50 seconds on the clock. Quarterback has three wide receivers to his left, a single to his right, and a single up back in the backfield with him as he takes the shotgun formation. He's going to take the snap. He's looking immediately to his left and is rushed by a host of defenders. And he's running for his life as he gets around a defender and he's going to try to make a man miss and gets decked at the three-yard line by number 91 of that defensive front and a super late flag coming into play four seconds after the play was made. If they call this an, a late hit, then I'm going to throw a flag from the booth. And they are going to call a late hit. Quarterback was two feet inbounds when they knocked him out. You got to be able to hit him sometimes, officials. The backside officials who threw the flag, not even the official who the tackle was made in front of. Not that it matters. It's a yard gain from the defender, but it's still a, a not my favorite call that's been made tonight. It's going to put the Hilton Head Seahawks on the two-yard line, and this is their first real drive of the night. They put together a lot of first downs and moved the ball really well downfield. 40 seconds to go. Quarterback, two upbacks beside him. He's going to take the snap, low snap. He's going to fake the handoff, tries to keep it, but he is swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by a host of defenders led by number 33, Lamontre Green of that defensive core. No gain on the play, maybe a, a, a piece of a yard. Ball still will be spotted at the two-yard line. Seahawks are in the shotgun formation. He has an up back on either side of him. We'll see if he keeps it again or if he hands it off. 15 seconds remain. Low snap. Fakes the snap. He goes up the middle, and he is going to score. And they're going to put points on the board offensively with 11 seconds to go. 
Cougar defense held him in check the whole night. 11 seconds to go, and they finally get in there. Hilton Head now has 13. Cougars have 34. This contest is way out of reach for Hilton Head. They have no chance of winning this ball game, but they did score one offensive touchdown on the night. They're going to go for two. Waiting on the call coming in from the sideline. 11 seconds remain in this contest. Cougars lead 34 to 13. Seahawks are going for two. Quarterback again is in that shotgun formation as a single out on either side and two up backs, one on his right and one on his left. He's going to take the snap. It's going to be a low snap, bobbled snap. He's going to hand off to the, to the running back to his left who's going to come around and going to get pummeled and can't make it in. He's not going to make the two-point conversion. The defense held strong on that as the ball went way to the right, but the defenders pushed in, linebackers pushed out, and the defensive linemen were chasing after him to bring him down at the one-yard line. And the score will remain 34 Cougars, 13 Hilton Head. 11 seconds to go in this game. And that touchdown, the first offensive touchdown of the night, took them three quarters and 11 minutes and 49 seconds to get it. But the Seahawks finally found the end zone offensively tonight with 11 seconds remaining in the game. Cougars are going to take this kickoff, and we'll see what happens here. Kicking team is still huddled up for the Seahawks. I'm assuming they're going to try for an onside or something short, as they've done earlier. Or maybe they're just going to kick it deep to try to run the clock out. We'll see what happens here. Number three, Joran Simmons is back deep on about the 15-yard line to field this punt for the Colleton County Cougars. Kicking duties tonight do fall on number 18, Alex Rucno, for the Hilton Head Seahawks. So we'll see if we have a little pooch onside kick here, whether it's just a deep kick. And again, 11 seconds remain as the Cougars lead tonight. 34, Hilton Head, 13. And it is going to be a little squib kick, kicked about the 35-yard line. Fair catch by the quarterback for the Cougars, number four, Naron Holmes. And the clock is down to nine seconds. This offense is going to head out there tonight in the victory formation. And we'll see what happens. This is one of those formalities of the game. You have to take the snap to get it out there to end this game. Nine seconds to go. Very much into the victory formation. The single running back is 15 yards deep. Quarterback is right there behind the center. In the shotgun formation, I'm assuming he will take this snap, drop to a knee. The opposing team has no timeouts, and this will end the contest. Snap, knee, officially game over. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, and the Colleton County Cougars have stayed victorious two weeks in a row with tonight's win over the Hilton Head Island Se Seahawks. Cougars win 34 to 13. And just a reminder, tonight's game brought to you by Palmetto Rural Telephone Cooperative, Walterboro Ford, Bank of the Low Country, and the halftime sponsor of the night, State Farm Insurance, Keisha Brown. We want to thank everyone again for tuning in. We wish you best wishes and best health. Stay safe and go Cougars. <laughs>